have a different context of the Bible. They don't change it within that okay, respect. Perhaps, I literally perhaps. grew up Christian, bro. I went to Sunday school. I used to go twice okay. a week as a child. Okay. Okay. And clearly we grew up differently because everyone I've ever met that went to Sunday school, not church, Sunday school as a child was taught the Bible in an interactive way that was appropriate for children and understandable. Because if you read the Bible, you'll understand that as a child, reading that would make zero sense. It's like, John, the son of David, who was the son of, you know, blah, 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 son of, son of, son of, son of. It's just like, as a child, you wouldn't understand that. You get bored and you wouldn't enjoy learning about your religion. So, you know, I kept thinking to myself when you kept bringing that up, I was like, they left, they, when I was growing up and being taught Christianity, I was never exposed to anything sexual, like explicitly sexual, you know, or, or anything. And of, of course you're exposed to like, a man and a woman, you know, you know, procreate, whatever. Like, of course you're exposed to that, but you know, so nothing... how is, how is that not more sexually explicit than saying that gay people exist and you should accept gay people? How the fuck is that more sexual? How is that not more sexually explicit? That's not what I'm arguing against. Of no, no, no. Clearly one is more sexually Bro, explicit. Do you agree? Of course. Yeah, of course. But you're, that's very convenient for you to say, bro. What you're saying is that it, you're saying that, you know, being saying being gay is OK is less sexual than saying a man and a woman have sex and procreate. Yes, obviously, because saying being gay is OK has nothing to do with anything sexual. That's a sexuality. That's just how someone feels. What you were arguing before is how the posters and the guy talking about someone eating someone out was worse than okay, can we pause on that real quick first can we pause on that yeah. exactly my point saying accept gay people saying it's normal to be gay is not sexual in nature you just proved my point thank you very much all right clearly this this uh topic is going nowhere so i think we should move on to a different to a different question or a different topic bro because like clearly like you're not understanding what i'm saying at all y'all make sure you hit that what, what, like what button. did i not understand 1.5 million what did i not understand sorry what did i not understand what did you what understand what did i not understand appreciate the sunglasses thank you what i was saying is basically like we weren't getting we weren't going to agree on that neither of us were budging or even Taking a second. What to... did I not understand? Bro, chill. <laughs> Am I not chill right now? Nah, bro, you're like yelling at me. I'm not yelling right now. What are you talking about? Are you like actually Delulu, bro? Yo, thank you for the likes, uh, Lisa, Lisa, two twenty. Can't like one. Chat. Oh. Like, am I yelling right now? What does Delulu mean? Delulu. Right, means you, 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 you're believing something false there. Oh, my bad, bro. I thought that meant delusional. Yeah, that's exactly what Del it means. How would Delulu, how would Delulu thinking so that wouldn't make any All sense? Right. That's what you're saying. We're gonna go to the next bro. person. How does that make any sense? We're gonna go to the next person. He's lagging a lot, anyways. But um, Delulu refers to delusional, right? Which is having a false belief. Right, believing in something false. All right, we're gonna go to the next person. Tap that screen, everyone. Let's try to get to 1.5 million likes. If you wanna help get it out to more people, share the live. Let's try to get to 2K shares, everyone. You already know the deal. Yo, what's up, how old are you? 21. For sure, do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Yeah. Why so? Um, because we're not geared to, we're here to repopulate the world. You can't repopulate the world if you're gay. Is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with someone who's, uh, someone who's, uh, by the way, look at him in the chat. He literally just fucking, oh my God. I, I, I don't, I, why do people do that? Right. He literally like, bro, thank you for the disco ball. I appreciate it. Mark, thank you so much. Do you think it's wrong for, for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? Appreciate the hand art. Thank you. No, because, well, God puts man and woman on here for a reason. Just because it's, she's infertile, infertile doesn't mean it's wrong. Yeah. So, so again, I could be with someone who's fertile, but I decided to be with someone who's infertile, right? My action didn't lead to reproduction in terms of engaging in intercourse. Right. So clearly speaking, right, that's going to be um, that's uh, like, I mean, that's going to be relevant.
right? Like it's the same <laughs> reasoning. Um, no, not really, because whenever it's two guys, you know, there's no chance at all. But just because she's infertile, that's a body problem with her own body. She can't help that, right? Chat, I saw in the comment section, chat, I see that already. He was lying. There's nothing I can do if they're sitting on the thing lying me, literally like gaslighting me. There's no way I can like, like determine that, right? They're literally gaslighting me, right? So how the hell was I supposed to determine their age? Um, the thing is, I'm saying that if we didn't have the ability to justify it, right? Then clearly speaking, I'm not gonna, I don't think it's good to just to say it in the chat. Right. I know you guys said he's lying. I don't know. How do I, how am I supposed to believe that? What evidence do I have for that assertion? I didn't have evidence. I literally chat. I hear this all the time in my comment section where people say that. Um, and I literally, I, I have to be able to judge based on that. Are you there, man? Hello? Okay. This person's not here. We're going to go into the next person. They already left before I even, before I was even going to go into the next person. Only send a guest request. If you disagree, tap that screen. Let's try to get to 2 million likes. Everyone, it should help get it out to more people. Y'all. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? All right, let's go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates, everyone. Only send a guest request if you do disagree, y'all. Share the live, everyone. Let's try to get to 2K shares, y'all. Yo, Shark, thank you so much for the paper crane. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. People say it all the time to get the guest off. Yeah, I know. People literally do say it all the time to get the guest off. Yo, what's up? How old are you? 19, bro. Oh, fucking same person, dude. I accidentally added this person on, dude. I, I literally didn't click their name, chat, and it literally added them. I swear to God, I clicked fucking guidance, and it literally clicked a different person. Yo, thank you for the cap. I appreciate Tabby. Thank you so much. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Oh, uh, can you hear me? How old are you? Uh, 20. Yeah, do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? I do. Um, wh what do you believe about incest? Um, I think it's wrong in the context of there being a familial power relationship, right? That would remove one's ability to consent um, in any type of familial setting if they grew up together in the same sort of household or if there's a parental sort of figure or something like that. Um, outside of that context, if they didn't grow up with each other, there'd be no reason to consider it to be wrong. But do you want to tell me why you think that being gay is wrong? Uh, for, for, for the same reason as why... I believe incest is wrong, right? So that's why I'm trying to make a comparison between them. As in, well, what would if, be the reason why you consider? What, what, what's the corollary between the two? Well, yeah. So let me ask you a question. So, for example, you're saying no, um, being um, do, uh, being in an incest relationship is not. Can, can you answer my question first before you ask me a separate question? You're asking me why I believe gay is wrong. Yeah, well, what's the corollary between these two to say that it's wrong? Because you said it was the same reason that you used for incest. What's the reason? Yeah, so I don't believe being gay is wrong, as in having the feelings of um, uh, sexual appeal to um, opposite um, same gender. Um, the same way I don't feel even for the incest. For example, if they have, for example, someone has maybe, there, there are a lot of people in the world, not a lot, but there's certain people in the world you might have um, feelings for someone in their family. It could be stepmom, stepsister, you know, step uh, kids. But the problem is acting on it. And once you act on it, that's where I believe um, that's where the immorality happens. Um, okay, so I didn't I didn't see the the reason. I I'm really confused with what you were saying. Can you can you restate as to why it was wrong? Why being gay was wrong? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I believe I'm saying. Can you restate the claim as to why? I didn't, I didn't hear the explanation. I didn't follow yeah, so that. I said, so I said, having the feeling of being gay, I think that's the part you agree with as well. You think you don't have a choice of having you the feeling. You think it's wrong to act upon it. I'm asking you why it's wrong to act upon yeah. it. Oh, oh, but based on, um, yeah, but that's my, um, based on my belief, that's my logic. I'm saying it's wrong. You're just saying it's wrong, but is there a reason why you're saying it's wrong? Yeah, because I'm saying it's immoral. That's not a reason. That's you restating a claim that it's wrong. Why is it wrong? Like, okay, what? Why is incest wrong? Um, I gave you a reason. What was it? 
uh, the family power dynamic that removes one's ability to consent. So it'd be non-consentful relations as it's just a familial power dynamic. What, what if there is no power dynamic? There is a the power dynamic that inherently exists by the nature of there being a family. Okay. What, what if there's not? What, what if, for example, it's a step sister? They, they, and they, 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 again, they grew up in the same household, right? That, no, that familiar power dynamic. In, for example, is. they didn't actually grow up in the same Say uh, parents are getting married together. They both have a kid each. They're coming into their life. Both of the kids are over the age of the legal um, consent age. Oh, and uh, they're, they're meeting 20, once they're after age. Yeah, that's that's fine. You so that you believe that's With fine. With stepsisters, yeah. Uh, oh, you step believe that's fine. Stepsister and stepbrother, yeah, that's fine. And uh, same with you. Say, if they like, never grew example, up. If they never grew up in the same household. Like it's weird, fine, right? I'm not going to deny that it's not weird, right? But it's not like immoral. What what makes get, you think it's weird? Well, you, because you wouldn't say that because it would be like against you, you wouldn't in say in the same oh, sort of way fetish. can i can i can i explain in the same sort of yeah. way that i consider it to be weird for someone to have a foot fetish right because it's right. it's not going to relate to like like a common common attraction right but that's that's based on your beliefs right now because if for example i ask you this question or maybe your ancestors for example they will say homosexual homosexuality is weird the same way now you think that incest, for example, some certain incest relationships right now is weird. What do you mean by weird? You're saying it's weird. I'm not saying it's weird. No, no, no. You said that b being gay, you said people refer to being gay as, as weird, right? I'm asking yeah, they, you, what do you did. mean by weird in that scenario then? Because well, I the told same... you what I mean by weird. Well, they, 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 thought, of it, they thought of it as how you think of incest right now. They, they, they thought it was um, some Well, it is of... common, so I don't know what you're talking about. It's common now, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe in ten years' time, incest will be common, and you wouldn't think it's weird, would you? Uh, under the definition of the society, it wouldn't be considered weird with under that definition, right? But there can be a definition of weird that relates to like against one's preferences. Uh, you right? If, you, if what you mean by if you, what you mean by weird is that you just don't have that preference, well, then anything that is against your preference is going to be considered weird, right? But that wouldn't consider whether or not something's wrong or right. Yeah, well, you you can't say it's right or wrong right now, and I can't say right or wrong as well. So that's why I'm asking you. Oh wait, so is, you don't consider it to be wrong to engage in gay intercourse? I do. Okay, but so I what's the reason why it's wrong? Well, the same reason why I I believe incest is wrong, right? Again, you didn't you didn't clarify that reason, sir. Oh, you you uh, you're asking me why incest is wrong. Can you, you said it's the same reason. What reason is applicable to both incest and to both being gay? That means that they're both wrong. Well, because a um, marriage is meant to be between um, uh, two people, um, between a male or a, and a female, um, who are not related, right? Okay, and who's to say that? Well, this, is it religion? For me, it's religion. Okay, so what religion? Uh, Islam. Okay, so how do we know that the Quran is accurate in prescribing to us what's right and what's wrong about morality? Well, how, how do we know that you, for example, is right or wrong with what you're prescribing about morality? We give reasoning, right? But you're making a claim that the justification for this particular moral authority, right, is the fact that this particular God created the universe and then prescribed this morality, right? So this relies upon the claim that there is some sort of God that exists in this capacity. So how do you know that that's true? No, forget about that. Say I don't say I'm coming into you. I don't know if it's if it's uh, if it's moral or not. I'm asking you, for example, right now. You're saying so. If you don't consider it to be moral or not, right, then you wouldn't be disagreeing with the topic. So, can you just like respond to my my question there about like the Quran? Yeah, ask the question again. Yeah, what tells us that God exists in order to say that the Quran is accurate in prescribing to us what's right and what's wrong about morality from a moral authority? Okay, yeah, yeah, but th this is a completely different argument now because now we're trying to prove whether God exists or not. Because so that's the a... basis of why you consider it to be wrong. Yeah, so what, what's your basis that you consider incest to, um, so, so some some certain incest to be wrong? What's your basis on that? I just told you the reasoning. Because you call, consider it weird, weird. That's not just because I consider it weird. I literally gave you an entire argument. In terms of it not being consentful due to familial power relationships that exist? No, yeah, no. We, we like, do, you, do, you, do you think it's wrong for someone... It can I ask you a question? Do you think yeah. it's wrong for someone to adopt a child, raise them until age 18, and then engage in intercourse with them? I think so. What do you think? Why? Why is it wrong? 
because the Quran says it's wrong. How does where does the Quran say it's wrong? Well, the Quran says the Quran tells you uh, that the mar- what the um, uh, marriage relationship is meant to be between. So who is meant to be between? For example, I'll tell you now. Um, for example, you can't. It, it is forbidden to marry your mother, your daughter, your sister, your aunt. Yeah, that's example. biological, right? No, uh, yeah. Let me finish. Um, your foster sister, your mother-in-law, your stepdaughters, your stepsisters. So that's what I believe. For you right now. Wait, what about you, stepfather? Yeah, that's included. So if, if your stepmother. Stepfather and included, stepmother. Your stepmother, stepfather, stepdaughter. What about what? What about adopted mother and adopted father? Yeah, that's your step and dad. No, step step, step parent is like your 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 um your your parents' uh, significant other. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's that's, that's not the same thing as adopted father and adopted mother. How's it not? Because step relates to um relates to again like the other individual, right? Like that is dating your 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 parent. Um. Yeah, it, it, as in, if if you consider someone to be your dad and they're not your dad, or actually, wait, 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 step. Yeah, that would be step. Yeah, right? yeah, it's the same. Yeah. So, wait, no, um, what, what's the same? There's um step step dad and adopted. So if if you no, if it's you, not. You, it's not the same thing, sir. If you if you adopt a kid, what's the kid? Is he is he your step son? No. What is he? My ad- adopted son. Okay, so it's not adopted son. Yeah, okay. Oh, here, here it says it here as well. And it says... Because you um, said foster, foster, right? Does the foster apply to mo- mother and father? Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, so your foster what mother says and that? your foster... Um, let me bring that up for you right now. Uh, pretty sure is chapter 4, verse 34. So chapter it, it, verse it gives, what? It gives the, uh, chapter 4, verse 23. Sura so, uh, what? Sorry, say that one more time. So chapter 4, verse 23. 4, 23. Sorry, I, I just, I apologize. You are forbidden to take your, take, uh, to take as wives, your mothers, your daughters, your sisters, your paternal and maternal aunts, a brother's uh, daughter, um, daughters, a sister's daughters, your wet nurse, your milk sisters, mother-in-law, and your stepdaughters, who are uh, who are your foster children that are born of your wives with whom you have consummated your marriage. Okay, so that so by foster parents here, it doesn't mean adopted. It means um, it means the person who's married to your uh, your parent and has consummated that marriage. Uh, no, it says both. It says both. So it says mother-in-law and foster mother. Now, so who are fun. your foster children that are born of your wives with whom you have consummated your marriage? Okay, so this is this is referring to stepdaughters within the context, uh, stepdaughters and stepsons and stuff like that, right? That's um, we actually, there's no stepson here. It isn't. It doesn't even reference stepson. Well, yeah, but that's why you have to use logic. So if you're saying your mother-in-law. Then you become Wait, that is not where you up. use logic, right? It's dictated by God, so God specifically left that out. No, it didn't. Leave, no, <laughs> it's saying if, if it's saying you can't get married to your dad, and it doesn't say you can't get married to your son. How can the dad get married to? How can the son get married to dad? He's a son, so it does, it, that's why. Does, does that make sense? How can dad get married to his son? I'm confused. No, you're so if, stepson. If a, verse, if, a, if a verse says to you, you can't get married to your dad. But it doesn't say you can't get married to the son. How could the son get married to the dad when he's a son? So the verse. Wait, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. So it doesn't relate to fathers here, right? Stepfathers, right? It also doesn't relate to to father-in-law, right? It also doesn't relate to um. Yeah, it doesn't relate to any of those. Yeah, of course it does. So, as in, for example, if, if and then it saying, also says, however, if you have not consummated your marriage, you will n- incur no sin by marrying their daughters. You are forbidden to marry the wives of your begotten sons, two sisters simultaneously, within the exception. Okay, this is not relevant. Relevant. Um, so, do you, like, there, there's nothing that specifies that particular types aren't. I mean, it, there's nothing that specifies what you were saying, but which one? Um, because the foster children are just re- relating to like the the person in which your parent is like dating and consummate the marriage with. So, I'm not convinced with your standpoint there, 
Um, but then also, right, we can just relate to the question, right? How do you know that the Quran is accurate in prescribing this? So again, how do you know that God exists to say that this is true? Yeah, so that's a, that's a complete argument. We could sit there for hours and hours and hours. That's do you not want to have that conversation? No, I do. Um, it, it doesn't really relate to the topic, but I, I, I can have if you have time. Um, the reason no, it does the relate reason... to the topic because the basis why you consider being gay to be wrong is that this religion is true, correct? Yeah, okay. So, so I'm just the... asking for the justification. I don't want to, I'm not asking to have like a 40 minute conversation with you. I'm just yeah. asking for a justification and then I'm going to be done asking you. I'm not going to even go through contradictions or anything. But yeah, really, so I do believe there are contradictions, why but why we can keep exists. that specific to a God conversation, right? Right now, I'm just asking for the justification for your claim. Uh, as in why 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 God believe why I believe in God and why I believe that this is His message you're saying, yeah, and why I believe in this. Well, uh, first we start with, for example, why does why do I believe God exists? Right, so using for because I, I haven't seen God, you haven't seen God. Uh, I haven't seen many things in this world. I don't. I haven't seen, for example, the entirety of the sea. But I still believe that there is many many more animals to be discovered within the sea. Uh, from a scientific point of view, if I would to say no, there are no other things in the sea except for what I see right now, I would consider I would be considered not too smart, right? In the same way, it keeps going up and up. The same the same way it keeps going down, it keeps going up, right? In size or or any context, right? So, and then you come to a conclusion of who needs to be on top, right? And the definition of the God is that He is someone who He, he needs to be them all powerful. He needs to be someone that is above everything. Because if is someone, um, if there's someone above him, then he's not God. Then that person becomes God. So I believe in a supreme creator who created everything that exists in this world, for example. Um, and I believe that those things cannot be a, an accident. And now I have to find a message that this creator sent down to us so we know how to judge between what is right or what is wrong. Because right now, for example, I ask you, is incest right, right or wrong? You could say, well, for some context, yes. But if I ask someone else, they say, oh, I don't know, incest is completely wrong. That's disgusting. Ten years later, I ask the same person, is incest wrong now? They say, yeah, of course, because now the media, the school teachings are telling me incest, there's no problem. There's two adults. They love each other. Love is love. So it's fine. But me, I have to find a message I, but, to... Uh, God, the way, guidance, I never argued love is love. I'm not saying in every single circumstance where there is a love, no. it means it's justified. Yeah, not for you, but that's what I'm saying. So uh, that's what I'm saying. This, um, There's just other people in society that hold different views. It's not relevant to my view here. Exactly. And so you, so you, let's you go back to saying... the justification, right? So the justification yep. for why this God exists is, was what again? Uh, based on logic. Logic. Based on logic. Right. What, based on what logic? logic? Of a, based on logic that there needs to be a creator for everything that exists in the world. That there a creator doesn't a... imply a God? Right, that Creator. like the creation, creation, like the causation of the universe, could be specifically naturalistic within the notion that there is a prior state of fundamental particles in which are natural, which have the necessary properties to bring about this reality rather than another one. In the same sort of way that God, under your view, is eternal, is prior to the universe, and has the necessary desires to bring about this reality rather than another one. Uh, no, so so the belief that everything was created. Uh, on their own, or if if they just keep uh, keep evolving and they're just making themselves, and that's not really a scientific. That's not something um, that's proven. It's a theory. It's called an evolution theory. It's not something. Wait, wait. That by is the way, no evolution. Theory. Evolution is a scientific theory and a fact. Well, I'm not referring to fact. evolution right here. I'm not referring to. I'm not referring to evolution here. Right. What I'm referring to here is a hypothesis. Right. It's not a theory. Yeah. It's not a scientific theory. And I'm comparing the hypothesis that God exists right to the hypothesis that there's a natural explanation of the world okay so if, if i'm comparing these two hypotheses i would compare them based upon how many assumptions that they have okay what i'm just telling you is that there's another explanation you were saying that god is necessary logically speaking i'm saying it's not necessary logically speaking it, well it is because th there's nothing in this world that was that has been created or will be created without a creator and you believing in that 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 brings you outside of the fold of science actually if no, it doesn't, it, right? Again, a prior state of fundamental particles have the ability to cause us into existence the same way a god would, given that they have the properties to bring about our existence. Yes, yes. Yeah, so that's that's okay. Called, that's the example, same assumption yeah. that, that you referenced. You just can cut off the all-knowing, all-powerful, all-good, the judgment, the heaven, yeah. hell, angels, demons, jinns, everything like that. You right. can cut that all out and still explain why we exist. Well, so what, if you can still explain why we exist with the, less assumptions, yeah. 
Well, that's going to be more likely to be true because each different assumption that you have, appreciate the confetti, thank you so much, right, is going to have, um, um, is going to reduce the probability of, I mean, of the entirety of the explanation being true, right? Because you're, you're, you're explaining you're the exact same question. That? What you're referring there to is that, for example, an effect. For example, if I set off an explosion right now, everything that happens after the explosion, it happens on its own, right? For example, if I cause an explosion, if I cause, for example, any, anything, anything I do, what happens afterwards, whether that breaks many walls, trees, destroys everything, it happens after what I did. But someone needs to start this process, right? So that's why if you could say, okay, yeah, after millions of years, this tree grew into this, into this. And that's why it, it had a natural process. But someone had to create this process to begin with. Someone needed to, to do that formulas. Like, for, for example, the chemistry, right? You do an experiment in chemistry. And it has an amazing, for example, result, and it does uh, amazing things. But someone needed to do something for that reaction to happen. We right now are living in a reaction, but someone had to start this reaction. Does that make sense? And that reaction to, to be started with, I believe that was a creator. It doesn't have to be someone or a god. I already told you this. It can be a prior state of fundamental particles. Th those particles that you're referring to, that they need to be started by someone. No, they don't. They, need... they don't have a beginning in the same way God doesn't have a beginning. They're both eternal. Yes. So, okay, that's not right. That's not right. That's not true. Because if those things didn't have a beginning or don't have an ending and are eternal, then those things are considered to be God. And that is not true. Because they no, 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 have... no. It doesn't mean that they're considered to be God because God has more than just eternal, right? God is also an all-knowing, all-powerful, all-good God, the supreme being, right? Which is not true within the fundamental particles. So it's not God. What does that mean? Say that again. Sorry, I missed that one. It is not God because it doesn't have the other characteristics. It's not the supreme being. It's not all-knowing. It's not all-powerful. It's not all-good, right? Those are characteristics of your God that they do not have. But yeah, is, is it? Uh, what you're referring to is that is that eternal though? It has no yes. beginning, no ending. Yeah. So the the fundamental particles would be eternal in the same way God is eternal. It's the same assumption. Okay. So if if it was eternal, that means it, it always existed at the same time that God existed. So what? So that means. No, no, no. I under that model, God wouldn't exist. So if if this thing, oh yeah, okay. So if this thing exists, yeah. So that so then that is God then. What what, what you what you're saying right now, if that thing is eternal, has no beginning and no ending, that means no one can ever stop it. It will live on forever, and it never had a beginning. That is a one, one of the biggest fundamentals of what a creator or a god is. It doesn't have a beginning or an ending, right? Okay, that would be one characteristic, but it's not all of the necessary characteristics of God. So um, that's kind of the point. Um, so it kind of seems like we're blowing past you and we're getting circular. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about or add? Um, no, that's about it. Um, I think I'm appreciate ready. you coming on, bro. Thank you so much, man. Have a good day, no bro. Problem. You too. All right, we're gonna go into the next person. Only send a guest request. If you disagree, tap that screen, everyone. Let's try to get to two million likes. If you want to help get it out to more people, share the live. Let's try to get to three K shares, everyone. It should help get it out to more people. If you want to help, if you like the content, uh, consider donating or subbing, everyone. We just got back after like a suspension over a week or whatnot. So subbing is definitely one of the best ways to help me out. You'll get access to the sub only chat that I'm gonna put on for the last hour of the live here pretty soon. So again, if you like my content, follow me if you haven't already, everyone. But let me go into the next person. Me. Yeah, what's up? How old are you? Yeah, I'm 30. How you doing? Yeah, do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? <laughs> Appreciate the hand art. Thank you so much. I think it is wrong 100%. Hello? Yeah, hello. You were, you're lagging. Okay, we're going to go into the next person. Oh, this person is lagging really bad. We're going to go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree, y'all. Are you and Dean coordinating your lives? What do you mean coordinating our lives? Stove, I appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. We're probably going to do one here pretty soon where we do like a co-host, probably. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hey, 22. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Um, so honestly, I'm on the fence, which you might kick me for that, but I just wanted to hear kind of your points on it. I've been following you for a while and I think you're pretty educated, pretty smart. I wanted to hear your points as to why you think that it's right, I guess. It's not considered right or wrong, right? It's morally neutral the same way being straight is morally neutral. It's, so there's okay. no claim that it should or shouldn't be this way. Uh, okay, I appreciate cool. coming on, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, let's go to the next person. Everyone only send a guest request. If you disagree, we're just looking for some debates, y'all. 
Just looking for some debates. Tap that screen, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? Hello? All right. Are you there? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? How old are you? 28. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or moral? Uh, I'm going to say yeah. Okay, why so? Um, I, well, I guess it depends on what you view as uh, like the purpose of being alive as a human being. Um, and I, I think one of the primary um, things is to procreate. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not like saying that I think ill of them or anything like that. It's just that I see it as that's what one of our purposes of being alive is. I and mean, obviously, that's not something that can be done. So it's immoral to engage in intercourse that does not lead to reproduction. Is it immoral for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? No, because that's about function, not like the design, you know. It's like women are designed by nature to procreate. Just because the design fails doesn't mean, you know, there's something wrong with it. No, no, I'm saying for my choice. Because it's, it's my choice as someone who's fertile to be with someone who's infertile or be with someone who's fertile. Crystal, I appreciate the galaxy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So is it wrong for me to choose to engage in intercourse with this woman who's infertile? Um, no. No, it's not wrong. But it doesn't lead to reproduction. I'm just speaking on, like, I'm, I'm speaking about, like, the rule, not exceptions to the rule. Yeah, so why does the reasoning apply to straight, uh, to gay people, but not to straight people? Well, hold on, I gotta let my dog. In. Um, why do, can you say that again? Why does it apply? Yeah, why to does the reasoning then? apply to to gay people but not to straight people? Well, I think it applies to everyone. It's just you can't. We don't have a perfect world. I mean, obviously things gonna happen. It didn't, it didn't I mean, apply in the circumstance in which the man was in was man was fertile and the woman's infertile. Yeah, but sometimes you don't know that, right? In, in this circumstance, I do know that. Okay, so you're asking me, would I think that it's wrong for a man to have intercourse with a woman that he knows is infertile? No, I just it I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's like anywhere as close to the same thing. Both of them don't lead to reproduction. What's the relevant distinction between these two circumstances that means that it applies in one and but not the other? Well. I'm just speaking more about like, I mean, is your question, well, your question is straight up, is it, is being gay like as in the, the feeling or the action? Is engaging in intercourse wrong or the feeling? You're asking either or? Either or. No, I feel like it's more so the action. Not the feeling. So why is the action wrong? What's the symmetry breaker between the scenario that I brought up with the man engaging in intercourse with the infertile woman and the two gay men engaging in intercourse that means that one is immoral and the other one's not? I mean, it's it's almost like what how you would how you would define wrong. Like is wrong like as in it's not producing like the output that humankind should be looking for. Or like, oh, that's like nasty or something. Like, no, I think it's, I'm just more talking about like, generally, this is what human beings are here on earth for. And it, it's not conducive to that. So that's my definition of the wrong in this so context. So if it's conducive but, towards reproduction, or if it's not conducive towards reproduction, it's immoral, right? So then why is it not wrong for me to engage in intercourse with an infertile woman, given the fact that it's not conducive towards reproduction? Because because ma males and females together as a unit have that capacity, Not in this and scenario. two males never will. Two males never Not will. Not in this scenario. That's, I know, but 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 you when you meet someone right and you develop chemistry right and then you move from this base to that base and eventually get there, <clears throat> you know, you know that that's like what happens amongst those two types of individuals, males and females. You do not, um, nobody understands that to be the, the fact between two males. That's the difference. 
so you're just saying that it's not natural because it doesn't lead to reproduction, right? And again, in this scenario, it doesn't lead to reproduction. So you're just completely walking past the point I'm making. Yeah, I guess I am. I mean, sure. I, I still think it's different because we we all know that a male and a female have the capability, the capacity, whether or not there's an issue with, you know, um, they do not have the capacity if they don't have the ability. What are you talking about? I know. About? Well, that's why I was finishing the sentence. Whether or not that person has like a, some sort of genetic defect, um, it's still a male and female. We know that males and females are the ones who lead to that. We can come up with the cases or like extreme circumstances to a lot of things in life, but I'm, I'm just talking in general statements here. So you're right, just not like, giving me like, a relevant like, distinction. If we were talking about something like diet, like what's generally healthy to eat, like, and I could say like, oh, avoiding, you know, sugar and trans fat, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, maybe sugar for certain individuals, like they really need it because they're hypoglycemic or something. But we could still say, generally speaking, human beings um, should be staying away from like high fructose. Yeah, so but in those scenarios, they wouldn't need to stay away from it. So in this scenario, right, would it not be wrong? Or would it be wrong for two people who are straight to engage in intercourse, given that one of them is infertile? Um, to engage in the actual act of intercourse? I mean, that depends. I mean, <clears throat> if, if this person might like have another partner down the line who is fertile, so maybe that particular instance, I don't know. I, I, I don't think it's immoral, no. Yeah, so it still doesn't lead to re reproduction. So it I think like my, I think my, like, I think the way I'm trying to say it is like the word wrong. I just, I think maybe we're thinking differently on. Um, I just think it's not something that advances um, the human species. Okay, so neither does two people engaging in intercourse if one of them is infertile. So sure. Now okay. so you're just completely ignoring it when it relates to straight people. Oh well, no, I'll I'll admit that. So it doesn't. I mean, maybe it does in their individual lives. And I think that's the difference. It's like I'm sure that might make them happy. It doesn't matter like to them if they don't have a child or whatever. If it makes them happy, that's that's cool. But I'm talking more so about like the human race. That's the difference. I think that we're like that you can't produce children if you if you like literally are engaging with someone who's infertile you also can't produce children if you don't have intercourse is it wrong to not have intercourse with people no but there well i guess those people can still contribute to society in many other ways but i'm but again i'm speaking people. of advancing the human race as far as like you know like just a basic like understanding of survival and and repopulating that's that's like my my like uh, argument is more so on that basis as opposed to like you know like individual lifestyles and like what makes people happy and stuff is it wrong to use contraception like birth control or condoms uh no okay but it doesn't lead to reproduction right it's, it's so again that's like an individual like thing that makes their lives better as a result of those choices but again as far as like the survival and advancement of the human population it is not a good thing and it would be wrong for that you know like almost like spaying like neutering dogs okay is there anything else you'd like to bring up or talk about no that's it appreciate coming on let's go on to the next person everyone only send a guest request if you disagree we're just looking for some debates tap that screen everyone let's try to get to 2 million likes only send a guest request if you disagree share the live everyone let's try to get to 3k shares also if you like my content follow me if you haven't already but yes let's go on to the next person everyone all right give it a second everyone parker are you 510 plasma i see you ask that question every day bro i'm literally not 510 like what is going on only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates, everyone. Yo, what's up, how old are you? Hello? All right, let's go to the next person. Again, only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates. We're going to click on to the next person. Again, only send a guest request if you disagree. Tap and share the live, everyone. You already know the deal. Next person. Yo, what's up, how old are you? I'm 19. Yeah, do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Um, well, I believe it's, it's wrong because of um, 
coming from a religious a religious um, aspect of it. Yeah. So, uh, what, what's um, what's uh, what's world, world religion? Well, I'm Christian, and well, starting off to be honest, half most of the population of this world is religious, as I say. So, um, I feel like with that in mind, um, how do I put it? It's more easy to, that it's easier. More people are Christians if you get what I mean in it. So, as as like the Bible itself states many times in different ways on how it's wrong and how two men and two women shouldn't have intercourse or be, you know, in any relationship in that type of way. Yeah, so what's the justification for the Bible being accurate and prescribing what's right and what's wrong about morality? Because I believe that the world isn't just made on science. It's, there's something more to it. And I feel like um, there's obviously something higher. So I feel like the, there's that I well, I believe personally that the Bible is guidance. So these are all just specifically assumptions, right? How do you know that these assumptions are true? That's my point. Um, because like I said, I believe that these there's something you know people don't humans ourselves there's something higher than humans. People don't just come out with you know, this Big Bang Theory and come and say, oh, this is how the world is made, because we don't know that. So no, we observe like... the Big Bang, right? So we observe expansion of the universe. We observe uh, cosmic background radiation photons. We observe red shifts within our universe that indicate that different things within our universe are moving away from us, indicating to us that the universe is expanding, moving away from each other, right? So clearly speaking, we have very good evidence to indicate the Big Bang happened, right? You can dispute the bit. You can dispute whether or not the Big Bang resulted from a god, right? But the idea is that you, you have really good, no, no good reason to dispute the Big Bang. Well, then how, so you're telling me what the world was just created by a big bang, just a bang, just it, from nothing, a bang just happened. It, no, 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 it's not from nothing, right? We don't know what led prior to the big bang. Exactly. Right? But the thing, so, yeah, yeah, just because we don't know doesn't mean it's God. I appreciate the handout. Thank you so much. There are lots of things so, that we don't know. Yeah, because you don't know. That is, so how do you know it's a big bang then if you don't know? How do you know the world? Well, the big bang we observe. The big bang is just the expansion of the universe, which we observe. You can literally look in a telescope and see the big bang, right? Effects of the big bang. Okay. So like, you're, saying, you're okay. saying, was you there when the Big Bang happened? Um, you can observe it because t it no, takes no, no. time How for light you? to be able to get to us. But you right? So we can yeah. observe the cosmic no, no, no. background radiation question, photons, which question. are essentially gun smoke from a, from a gunshot. My, the question was, were you there when it happened? We, we can observe it happening. It's not we. Like, for example, I'm right? You personally, were you I want there? You to, I want you to fucking listen for me to a second. No, 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 no. If you don't, no, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to mute you. <laughs> you would you, asked would, you, would me, you rather me mute you? Right? I'm going to finish. I'm asking a question. You asked me. Yeah, and I'm answering that question. No, I'm saying you asked me if I be, why do I believe in this? So I'm saying why do you believe then? You wasn't there. I wasn't there. I just believe. Can I, can I please? Can I please answer the question? Go on. Okay. So when it relates to this, we can observe that because it takes time for light to get to us. Light year takes takes time to get to us, right? Uh, it, it takes t uh, uh, light years. Essentially, how much? How much? Uh, distance, right? Light can travel in a year, right? That's that's essentially what it is. So it takes time for that to occur, right? So we can observe events that have happened in the past, accordance with us, right? Like for example, when I when I'm looking at um, Andromeda Galaxy, I'm looking at Andromeda Galaxy from the past because it took time for the light in Andromeda Galaxy to get to me. So I am essentially it's like a time machine, essentially. I hear it. So how do you know? So from the past, we can observe uh, it. Sorry, because we can observe it. We can observe the cosmic background radiation, radiation photons. We can observe the red shifts within the universe. Both of those things indicate to us that the universe is expanding. All right. Well, I'm, I'm not going to go into that because it's just going to go around in circles. I understand that's your belief, and I have my belief about it. But the topic is why being gay wrong, and like I was saying. Um, yeah, you can ask me, oh, how do I know it's true? But I could say the same about how do you know it's true too. But my point is, in the Bible, as I said many times, it says it's wrong. And that's what I go by and that's what I believe. Where in the Bible? Um, Le Leviticus 20. Okay, so when you relate to Leviticus, are you, do you take into account the Old Testament? Sorry? Do you, do you eat pork? Um, no. Do you wear mixed fabric? Yes. That's a sin under your, your view. Do you think abortion is wrong? Um, in some ways, yeah. 
do you think it's wrong for a woman to get an abortion um, given the fact that she cheated on her husband and that's what produced the baby? What do you mean? Do you think that a woman should get an abortion if she cheats on her husband? Yes. So you do think that they sh she should get an abortion? If in that context, you just put it in, yeah. Okay. Um, do, do, you, do you think that it's wrong to eat shellfish? Um, not in particular, I know. That's in, that's in, the, in the Old Testament. Are you against slavery? Huh? Are you against slavery? Mm hmm Yeah, well, it says in the Old Testament how to treat your slave. Right? It's okay to beat them just so you know long as you don't kill is, them. No, no, let me, so let me just say something. So what well, you're giving me all of these things and now you're telling me what I'm sinning because I do these stuff and I go back. That doesn't mean anything. In the Bible, it also says how no human is perfect. No, perfect, per no one is perfect. No, God is not going to sit there. Like, obviously, in the Bible, it says Jesus, is, Jesus came down for us for that reason. Because we're not all going to be doing, we're not going to, no one's going to be out there going to look for clothes that are not, you know, for, like, like you were saying, or no one's going to be there being strict because we're humans. We mess, we mess up as humans. We all mess up. So you can't just sit there and say, oh, I'm doing, I'm sinning because I'm doing, I do these certain things. You get what I mean? That's listed in your Old Testament. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm taking your view, not mine. Yo, Carleen, thank you so much for the Drake out. W Carleen in the comment section right now. Spam that W, everyone. Thank you so much, Carleen. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, from the, yeah, you've taken that from the Old Testament, but the Old Testament and New Testament are completely different. The Old yeah, do you hold, wait, you just, you just referred to Leviticus, the Old Testament, in order to say that being gay is wrong. Yeah. So do you hold to the Old Testament, yes or no? Yes. Okay, so then you hold to that view in the Old Testament. You think it's okay to beat your slaves so long as you don't kill them. Um, can, sorry, I was going to finish what I was saying. Yeah, I refer to the Old Testament and certain things, but the other, on the other side of stuff, the New Testament kind of contradicts the Old Testament in some different aspects. No, do you, do you, so you, you, you pick and choose from the Old Testament? Because, no, I, you know, the whole Bible is what it is. I don't know the whole Bible as it is. But I do know there's certain bits in the Old Testament that is contradicted in the New Testament. Um, yeah, so can you give me anything in the, in the New Testament that would contradict the fact that if you have a slave, you can just beat them so long as you don't kill that's them? Not, that's nothing got to do with what, I'm not talking about slavery right now. I'm just saying in general. Well, the Old Testament indicates that you can engage in slavery just so long as you don't kill them. Just beat them. Yeah, but then how do you... Okay, can you explain to me where it says that, please? Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, let me find that particular verse. I got you. It's been a minute since I've looked at that. Um, yeah, and hold up one second. In the meantime, you can bring up anything else you'd like to bring up real quick. Um, I think it's in Exodus. All right. Well, in the New Testament, Jesus came down. So okay, so here, here's it is. Exodus 21, 20 through 21. Um, anyone who beats their male or female slave with a rod must be punished if the slave dies as a direct result. But they are not to be punished if the slave recovers after a day or two. <laughs> That one, Since the slave is their property, dude, that's fucked. Sorry, that um, the you you the thing about Bible is some people take it literal and some people take it as um symbolic. When you look at um, how is this the, symbolic? How because, tell me how this is symbolic? Because when you also look at in a when you type like when you look for verses about raising children and how to discipline children, that also comes up. It doesn't mean literally. FSTY, you... I appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. Again, right? Anyone who beats their male or female slave with a rod must be punished if the slave dies as a direct result. But they are not to be punished if the slave recovers after a day or two, since the slave is their property. Do, yeah, do, you, so, do you think that's then... justified? No. But um, in a Bible, in the New Testament, contradict like like I said, the Bible contradicts each other. Um, the, you know, as the old okay. the Bible does no, contradict can... itself. I, I, yeah, I agree. Because that's why Jesus came. When Jesus came, Jesus says, spare, spare them. And that's when, you know, things happen when he died for us and all of that. So there was no, then obviously it was said, I'm not going to say exactly how it said, because I don't, I don't remember exactly on top of my head. But then that's when Jesus said, you know, we don't, you know, we don't have to, there's, there, there's no need to be, you know, killing as, you know, there's no need to sacrifices and all of these stuff, because that's why Jesus came down. So, so, so idea, the idea here is that then God has changed. No, it's just Jesus. 
that example um, in the New Testament somewhere. I believe um, God was going to, um, when, I can't remember exactly what happened, what, some, God was going to get angry about something and Jesus said, spare them. And God still got angry, but Jesus said, spare them. And then that's when Jesus said, you know, that's when the, that's when the story leads to him dying on the cross. Um, so okay, but like, I mean, this doesn't result for the contradictions. And also, so no, are you no, just no, saying that like you don't hold to the no, Old let, Testament? Let me, so let me finish what I was saying. Can, 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 I no, think God you, is you, the same. God is the same. I literally did. You stopped talking, right? Like, no, no, what? I'm saying so. I'm saying God is the same throughout the whole Bible. It's just when Jesus came down, that's when, you know, he things changed. Because Jesus said... So, so he's not the same throughout the whole Bible. Do you not hear the word? I said Jesus came down. Yes, I did. Yeah, Jesus is God under your view, that, right? The words I said before that, Jesus, God is the same throughout the whole Bible. The, the, yeah, New Testament is a part of the Bible. What are you talking about? I said God is the same from the beginning to the end. And the point I'm making is when Jesus came down in the New Testament, that's when things change. What is? Am I not speaking English? Uh, apparently not, you right? That's me. self-contradictory, you right? Me. So, so the idea here is that you're saying that the Bible does not have this characteristic, right? But the but it, but it does, right? It's mean? in the New Testament. You're saying that the Bible doesn't have this characteristic yet. It's in the New Testament. I'm confused. What you're trying to tell me? You're saying the Bible didn't change. Yes. Right? Yet it did. No, you're not. That's not the point I'm making. I said you asked me. Could God change? And I said, no, he's the same throughout the whole Bible. But when Jesus came down, things, that's when Jesus helped, you know, Jesus stepped, stood in. When God was So you're saying Jesus action, and God sorry, is the sorry, same. You're just saying that, you're just saying that, that the no, rules listen. that he dictated for humans are different. You're not, you're, you're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm saying in the beginning. I'm trying to was, clarify. Did you hear no, what my clarification was? Let me finish. Let me say what I'm saying. And then after you can say, at the, in the Old Testament, God said some stuff and he did some stuff. When Jesus came down, God said stuff, but he did stuff and Jesus stood in for example when god was gonna you know god was angry about something he was going to react the same way he did in the old testament jesus came and he said you know i'm not you know i don't want it like let's spare them for example spare them allow them they don't know what they're doing you get what i mean yeah so you, you just told me a change in god's behavior no god just had mercy on them yeah but wouldn't have had mercy before because it was him it was just him so God would have not, in the same context, would not have had mercy, right? But in this context, he does have mercy, right? For the same, same fucking action. That the is literally is, yeah. a change. No, that let is me literally see. a change by definition. Okay, let me explain it a different way then. Um, in Old Testament, when, you know, the, um, the uh, commandments was made and stuff, obviously God stuck by them. God he just said, this, this shouldn't happen, that happened, don't do this, don't do that. You know what I mean? And then obviously in the New Testament... Everyone, we all sin in that. So Jesus came and said, you know what, spare them. They don't know what they're doing. We make mistakes. So Jesus died for that purpose. But God's still stuck by them commandments. Do not do this. Do not do that. You get the point uh, I'm making. Oh, okay. So you're saying that like certain things were kept, different things were changed? Not necessarily. I just mean he just had mercy. He didn't. We had the same yeah, that's, that's a change in character, right? Because again, he in the same context of the action, he would not have had mercy before. Now he would have had mercy. That's literally a change. Yeah, you dispute that being a change, that's in your own mind. That is a change by definition. That is like objectively speaking a change. I guess so, yeah. Okay. Um, so like the idea here is that do you if you do accept all aspects of the Old Testament, if you do accept all aspects of the Old Testament, then you're going to accept this verse from, Levit um, from Exodus. What do you mean? Did you see the verse I just showed you from Exodus? Yes. Yeah, you're you're gonna accept that verse if you hold to the, the the Old Testament. So you think that someone should not be punished for beating their slave so long as they recover in one or two days because they're the property. Well, like I said, you had to start. The Bible contradicts itself in the New Testament. It doesn't just say it; it changes. Hence, why there was. You know, Give Jesus me the New Testament that. verse that did not disputes that this is something that you can do. Um. I need to, I'll have to look for the exact verse, but right now, all I can say is when Jesus came down, when he died on the cross, he said, have mercy on them for they don't know what they're doing. God could easily have just killed everyone, but he's had mercy on them. And Jesus, you know, that's when it says about Jesus shedding his blood and remember, you know, drink his blood and all of this stuff. That's when that came up. But he's still, if you get, do you get the point I'm making now? Not really. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping out or something, but I, I don't really get your point. Um, I don't know. I don't know why you're cherry picking with the Old Testament. It sounds like.
Because right, um, I would, I would just like if I, I were just, you, just, I just don't accept the where. Old Testament. I just told you where because the New Testament goes into detail and it changes up. That isn't my fault. Yeah. So tell, actually, so you just need to find the verse for me where the Old Testament does that, or the New Testament, where it changes. Yeah, yeah. Like where it says that where it says that type of slavery is wrong, um, beating your slave is wrong. You will be punished. Because again, in Exodus, right, what it says particularly is that anyone who beats their male, male or female slave with a rod must be punished if the slave dies as a direct result, but they are not to be punished if the slave recovers after a day or two, since the slave is their property. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just uh, go ahead and find a verse or something like that. If you'd like to send it to me later, I'd love to, I'd love to look at it. I'm not, right now, I'm not, I don't know exactly, that's, that will take a bit of time, but I'll look for it later. But the point I'm making, like the example I just gave you, when Jesus came down, there was no need for them them stuff you're saying now. There was need, no need for slavery and all of this stuff. So yeah, just give me reason to believe that in the New Testament. Uh, I can accept it. I can follow you. You can come on another time if you'd like. You can DM that to me. So give you a reason why what? Um, you can come back and, 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 and give me a reason that the New Testament disputes that claim. You can come on another time. I just followed you. You can send me it and then we can talk about it next time. You want to come up on live? Mm hmm Is that cool? Cool. Mm hmm Alright, for sure. See you then. Cool. Have fun with your flavor there. Alright, let's go to the next person. Only send a guest request. If you disagree, we're just looking for some debates. Tap that screen, everyone. Let's try to get the two million likes. Also, everyone share the live. Y'all, let's let's literally, because we're about to go to sub only chat here in about a minute or so. Everyone, tap the fuck out of the screen. Let's get over three mil likes, okay, everyone? We gotta beat out Dean, okay, chat? We gotta beat out Dean. Share the fucking live, get to 3K shares. Tap that screen, we're gonna beat out Dean on his one live where he got three mil, okay, everyone? Tap that fucking screen right now, okay? We're gonna go on to the next person, everyone. A little friendly competition between me and Dean. A little friendly competition. Tap that screen, chat. Yo, what's up, how old are you? I'm David. Yeah, how old are you? 60. For sure. Um, is the, oh, he got four million shot. Okay, we're gonna go five million. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? I don't think. I do not. All right. I'm just looking for some debates, David. Appreciate you coming I on. I realize though. that. I think it would be help. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Only send a guest request if you disagree, David. I appreciate it though. All right. Uh, yeah. What's up? How old are you? Hello? All right, we're gonna go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates, everyone. We're gonna turn on. Yo, and Tony, I appreciate the shiny air balloon. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Okay. That this person is just having a having a swell time. Having a swell time. All right, let's go to the next person again. Only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates, everyone. And Tony, thank you so much for the gem gun. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're gonna go to the sub only chat right now. If you want to have access to the sub only chat, subscribe to me if you haven't already. Helps me come on here every single day, y'all. It's one of the best ways to support me. So make sure to sub if you do like my content, y'all. Follow me if you haven't already, everyone. I come on live literally every single day. Tap that screen. Let's try to get to 4.1 million likes, everyone. Yo, what's up, Howley? Hello? Okay, everyone, tap that screen, tap that screen. Again, let's try to get to 4.1 million likes, chat. 4.1 million likes. We're going we're gonna to friendly compete against Dean. Let's do it, chat. Oh, my gosh. It's not accepting people. Sorry, everyone. I'm trying to go to the next person. Did you know other viewers uh, can give subs? I did hear that. I did hear that. Okay, for some reason, it's not accepting this person. We're going to go on to the next. Keep tapping that screen. Keep sharing the live, everyone. You already know the deal. You already know the deal. Everyone, if we do get to 4.1 million likes, everyone... I'm going to be giving away all of my subs, okay? All of the subs that I can, okay? I have like I have like maybe 15 subs that I can give away. If we hit 4.1 million, everyone, I will be giving away every single one of those subs here at the end of the live, everyone. Every single one of those subs. So make sure to like the live, everyone. Tap that fucking screen, all right? Tippity tap that phone screen, everyone. We got, a, we got an hour, okay? We have a whole hour. If everyone tippity taps that phone screen until we get that point, we're going to be giving away a bunch of free subs, chat. We're going to be giving away a bunch of free subs. Yo, Angelo, I appreciate the hat and mustache. Thank you so much. I'm confused. I don't, I don't know what you're confused about. Let me go to the next person. It's not accepting this person. I'm trying to get someone up here. So just give it a second, everyone. We're going to get someone up here. Again, only send a guest request if you disagree, y'all. All right, everyone. All right. Okay, it's not accepting this person. Chat, I don't know why it's not accepting people. It's like really being weird right now. Give me one second to get someone up here. Sometimes it does take a minute to get someone up here. Just tap that screen, everyone. Tap that screen. You already know the deal. 
Okay, it's really not accepting people, chat. Like, what is going on right now? I'm so confused. I'm like trying really hard, everyone. Parker, P PFP has me rolling. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not accepting this person either. Chat, what is going on right now? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Give me one second. We're going to get someone up here. Tap that screen, y'all. We're at 1.8. We're actually running it up, chat. Y'all are literally tapping the fuck out of that screen. Keep it going. Keep it going, chat. Keep it going, chat. We are literally so, so close, everyone. Hot dog, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the sent subscription to San Antonio. Thank you so much, man. All right, we're going to go to the next person. Again, only send a guest request if you disagree. Tap that screen, everyone. Keep going. Keep tapping. Yo, what's up, Paulie? Hello? What's up, man? Yeah, how old are you? Uh, 39. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Uh, I think it's immoral. Why so? Well, I mean, God created a man and a woman, not a woman and a woman and a guy and a guy. Okay, so it specifically relates to a God existing. Is there any way, by the way, you can fix your audio? Uh, is it bad? Yeah, it's kind of hard to hear you, but I can kind of make out what you're saying. Um, no, I mean, I mean, quite frankly, it just resolves in not God itself, but I mean, we all started off man and woman, right? Yeah, or just, because, just because it is the case that two uh, are, are two adults engage in intercourse to produce us doesn't mean that we have to do the same thing. So, what's the reason why that that would be the case? So. If so let's go on a basis of everything in life is meant to reproduce as far as organisms, that's the goal, right? Uh, I don't think that everything needs to reproduce or is necessarily meant to reproduce. I just think it happens to be the case that they do reproduce. Okay. Okay. So if gay or so there can't be any reproduction there. Um, so, um, what? So there can't be any reproduction with, with gay. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate Millie. Thank you so much. So gay people can reproduce through IVF and vitro fertilization, artificial insemination, okay, and but uh, that, by but having intercourse still, with the opposite but, sex to produce children, right? But they cannot oh, do so by engaging in intercourse with their partner. Oh, right, right. So we can artificially induce reproduction. Okay. However, if let's say um, everyone in the entire world went gay, no one, no one donated for reproduction, um, humanity would cease to exist. Okay, so is it, is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? No. What, what I'm saying is if the entirety was to disengage then life would cease to exist yeah do you, do you think it's wrong to engage in uh to do not want to engage in intercourse ever no no i i'm not saying but if that. everyone did that we wouldn't be able to reproduce right so if everyone did it life would cease to exist um so um yeah so is it wrong for people to be uh to not want to engage in intercourse with people then no, it's not wrong. I'm just saying, why is being gay wrong? Why is being gay wrong is if the entirety of humanity did it, then civilization would uh, not exist. One, it wouldn't end. We'd still be able to reproduce through artificial insemination, IVF, and also through engaging intercourse with the opposite sex. Secondly, again, I gave you a scenario where there's an individual that doesn't want to engage in intercourse with anyone throughout their entire life. They never engage in any intercourse with anyone. They never reproduce. Right? It is the case that if everyone was like that, we would not be able to reproduce at all. Yet you didn't consider it to be wrong, given the fact that it relates to that one individual. Okay, I understand your point. So in, in that retrospect, then being gay is not wrong. All right, man. Yeah. I appreciate you coming on, though. Thank you so much. Yep. Appreciate it, bro. All right. Let's go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates, everyone. Only send a guest request if you do disagree, y'all.
All right, everyone, only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates. For some reason, it didn't accept this person. We're going to try the next one. Only send a guest request if you do disagree, y'all. Just looking for some debates, everyone. Tap that screen. We're at 1.9 million likes. We're fucking running up that like button right now. Thank you for the mic. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Keep tapping that screen, everyone. If we get to 4.1 million likes, everyone, again, we're giving away like 15 free subs, chat. 15 free subs at the end of the live, okay? So make sure to fall, make sure to tap that screen, share the live. It will help get it out to more people. Let's hit 3K shares. Let's get to 4.1 million likes. Keep tapping that fucking screen, y'all. Thank you for the hands. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. A little friendly competition, y'all. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Oh, hello. I'm on. Yeah, how old are you? Well, I'm 50. <clears throat> For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Uh, yes, I do. I mean, um, you, you said that you're the only one person who disagree, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so why do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Uh, because, um, <clears throat> because uh, history history teaches that. Two million likes. Everyone keep fucking tapping, y'all. We're so close. Um, so, what about history? So, history, like throughout society, people have thought it's wrong. Therefore, it's wrong. Yes, sir. yes. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, yes. Sir. I mean, um, there's a gentleman. Uh, I think his name is Edward Gibbons or something like that. He wrote a book called the rise and fall of the roman empire right and he um he listed the things that contributed to the fall of the empire in in, in um in uh in uh in the importance uh, you know what i mean like which one was most important to the least important like you know which one played the most important role and the number one thing was sexual immorality you see and so um that that is one instant where um History taught us that sexual immorality <clears throat> is not good. It brings down a society. You know, so um, nowadays, here it is, um, we notice that sexual immorality is on the rise again. It's being promoted. It's being protected. And um, I feel as if it's wrong because, like I said before, it shows that it, it destroys societies. It was able to bring down an entire empire. That's just one example of it being historic. Also, the country that I live in, on the law books, it used to be a crime to engage in such activities, but they have since um, uh, reformed that and they have um, changed that law so it's not uh, as illegal as it used to be. But that also is historic, meaning that the people before us thought that it was wrong. You know, so I mean, um, that's that that, that that's one that's um, history from a historical point of view. <clears throat> I feel as if it's wrong. Um, yeah, so the, the Roman also, the Trinity, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So the Roman Empire, the reason why it fell particularly had nothing to do with gay people. It's specifically related to the idea that they didn't have enough resources to sustain that large of an empire given their level of technology at that point. At that point. Um, and their level of resources. So I, I, I'm not convinced at all, and history does not say that it's related to gay people, right? You cannot give me uh, historians that would indicate that to be true on a wide basis. You cannot give that to me, right? That, because it doesn't exist, well, okay? Well, well, well I'm, I'm certain if you uh, were to do your own research on it, right, <clears throat> you would find various sources that mentions it. I, I just gave you an example. I said there's a gentleman by the name of Edward Gibbons. He has a book, and the book is called The Rise and the Fall of the Roman Empire. And I said, in that book, the gentleman lists the reasons why the Roman Empire fell by importance. You know I mean? Like which, which factor, you know, which, which one of these points played the most critical role. And the number one reason was sexual immorality. I, I'm telling you where you can go and look, for, look, at, look at it for yourself. Now, on, on outside of him, I'm certain that if you were to look, you would find other um, historians and other persons who wrote on the empire who would include that factor in their reasoning. So, I mean, for you to say that it's, it, it didn't play a role, I think that's very disingenuous, sir. But, but I, no, I have a question about a for person, you. Coco, Coco, you're talking about a person from the fucking 1700s, okay? <laughs> so you cannot compare one individual from the 1700s to the modern consensus on history. That's fucking ridiculous. No. Well, 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 the thing about it is this. Well, the thing about it is this. Um... If you if, um, if you were to ask me whose opinion would I listen to most in terms of someone who was living today and someone who was living in 1700s, as, as, as it refers to events that occurred before the 1700s, I would feel as if the individual living in the 1700s would have a better idea of what went down than us. What do you think? Have you ever seen that the experiment that people do in the classroom 
where they no, 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 Coco, put students. Coco, Coco. I actually fundamentally disagree because we have significantly greater access to information now than we had at that particular time period. So Gibbons got some things right, but got a lot wrong. And that's why there are huge critiques of him, particularly from modern historians. So, 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 yeah, by the way, by the way, I just want to say thank you to the people who, who did Venmo. Caitlin, thank you so much for the Venmo. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you to, um, hold up. I need to pull it up because it's not, it's not loading. One second. Give me, give me half a second, sir. Just one second. Just one second. Um, then the other person, other people, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, the other people, thank you so much. Kelly, I appreciate it as well. And, and Jose, thank you so much. Go ahead. Yes, sir. So you're true. So, so you're trying to tell me <clears throat> that that um, in your opinion, the individuals who are living today, right, has a better idea of what happened in the past than those who lived in the past? Is, is that what you're telling me? No, than those who lived in the 1700s, right? The 1700s is way mm -hmm. after the Roman Empire fell, okay? Not only is it way after the yeah, Roman and, Empire and, and fell, this, right? This, but in the so 1700s, they had significantly less access to information than we currently do today. Okay. And that's exactly why, okay. again, if you didn't listen to me prior, modern historians heavily critique this individual. Okay, so where where is the mod where where do the modern historians get their information from? Oh, from from databases like across the board, right? Um, so like I can I can bring up someone who's who's a, like a librarian, right? Who can explain no, to you particularly? Okay, 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 okay. What I'm asking you is this. See, that's, that's what I'm asking you. Is did did someone from 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 our current time, right? Did they go back in time, or did they find some um some flash drive? that someone had in the 1700s or someone had in the 1500s? Did they find some kind of thing that, that they themselves could reference for themselves? Did they find video of it? Did they find some kind of audio of it? See, I'm, see because, come on, I, you know what I mean? I, this is being kind of ridiculous because you and I both know that the individuals of, of the day depend on individuals of the past, their accounts, their writings. That is what they depend upon to tell us what happened back then. You know that, and I know that. You know that there was no television around to, to record it, so we can sit back ourselves and witness it as we are, as we can do other events that happened in the 1950s and the 1960s. We could sit down and we could watch video of the war, of World War One and World War Two. We could watch those things by ourselves. But 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 events that occurred in the 1500s, events that occurred. Um, 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 millennia ago, we, we we have to depend on individuals who. Who, 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 who were informed themselves or who witnessed it for themselves. So now you're going to discredit a man's um, writings because it disagrees with what you, um, with the point that you're trying to put forth. But I have a question for you also. You know, you're sitting here before and you, you ask Coco, me. Before you do, Coco, can I, thank you, Marshmallow. I appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. Can I bring up a librarian right now to like, to tell you particularly like certainly. what the process certainly, is? Certainly, real quick? Certainly. Just, just, just certainly, real quick. Certainly. Just real quick. Certainly. Certainly, certainly. certainly okay for sure and then actually by the way I, by the way chat we're gonna be co-hosting with dean for the rest of my life so um after this we are gonna be co-hosting so dean is rating right now everyone uh, matt are you joining up man matt are you joining up bro all right dean's gonna be joining up here in a second everyone as well so we're just getting up matt to describe this process everyone and then we're gonna go on to the next person um by the way so matt are you gonna join up bro I'm in the request, Matt. I sent you a. I sent you a. I sent you an invite, Matt. Can I ask you a question while we wait? Can I ask you a question, while, up, we a question while we wait? Yeah, go for it. Um, I like you. Know, you you have the um the the, the topic up for debate, and you're asking if if it's wrong or or not, right? I, I'm not sure what your opinion is. If you're right, if you um, but if you if someone gives you a just reason. Why? By, by the way, by the way, Dean, give me give me one sec. I'm going to add you up right now. I just need Matt to explain this real quick, and then we are going to go to the next guest and do our little co-host real quick. Okay. Um. So, we... Dean, just one sec. I'm uh. I'm just Matt's going to explain this, and then we're going to go on to the next one. And we'll co-host. Sweet. Okay. Um. So uh, here's the issue, uh, Coco. Um. The reason why 
Edward Gibbons is not a good source is because he had views about the Roman Empire that biased his analysis of the fall. Just that paradigm, just his title, the fall, the decline and fall of the Roman Empire, just that paradigm is outdated. The the, the Roman Empire itself did not fall. The uh the uh a Western Roman Empire fell, but but the Roman Empire continued in uh. Uh, uh, Byzantium. And if you know anything about uh, about Edward Gibbons, he hated Byzantium, hated it. So, so he didn't mention anything uh, about Byzantium. And so that's one of the reasons why we you can't rely on him is because he had such a such a negative opinion of various things that were the product of his enlightenment um, thinking, such as his hatred for uh, 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 the. Uh, 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 Christian religion, that he blamed the uh, fall of the Roman Empire on these things, whereas modern historians will not say that that uh, that actually uh, led to the fall. Oh, okay, I understand that part, but the thing, the thing, the thing, how we know, oh, uh, the last thing to say, and by the way, how we know more today is because we have access to more documents and more archaeological findings than, than, uh, uh uh, than uh, Gibbons ever did. So we continue to find documents and findings in the 250 years since Gibbon that uh, we can now piece together these um, new findings about what led to the uh, fall of the Western Empire. Okay, okay, but um, what I wanted to say is that, um, well, I mean, the thing was, don't, don't you as a librarian, don't you rely on individuals who wrote about events of the past? Yes, but but isn't, we rely isn't, on isn't them. That, isn't that really Gibbons? Up? Hold on, Gibbons is good if you if you want to read about. Uh, yeah, that I'm, but I'm not talking about. Yeah, but I'm not talking about Gibbons himself. You see, we, we, I'm not making it about Gibbons himself. What I'm making it about is how is the how is the historical uh, how is the information gathered? That that's the point. And 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 and, and, and what I'm asking is, 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 is the, yes, we and, and and you have and, and, but. And, but Yes, but you have, but but you have to rely on accounts of individuals to get an understanding of what was going on, because to get context and everything else. Because if you find some historical uh, um, 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 uh, something, you still need the context of it. But like, you know what I mean. You you, 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 yes, you understand yes, where I'm coming I from. You mean so much? Yeah. So yeah. So my point. So my point. My point. My point Gibbons is not the context. The context would be primary sources from the time of the fall. That would be the context. Gibbons yeah. used primary sources, but what happened was is that he yeah. introduced bias into it because he was a product of his yeah. environment and he yeah. hated and certain things, and that's what led him down that bias road. Yes, yeah, but I so but you are you are an historian and a librarian type thing, all right? I'm not I'm not I'm saying that you you're something you're not, right? I'm not a historian per se, but I but I know how to find sources. That's my job. Yes, and I, okay. and so, 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 so I know how historians so, so, work. Okay, so, so so my question to you is this. Is Edward Gibbons the only source whom um, says that sexual immorality um, uh, um, 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 Contributed, contributed no, to the no, fall of no, 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 Is it really one? That's my point. Wait, 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 before, that's before you, before that's you continue, I just want to say, well, I just want to say one thing. Hold up. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Matt address this claim, and then I do want to move on with Dean, right? Coco, if I can add you, particularly like follow you, I do want to continue this conversation with you and Matt, right? But I, I did like set up a thing to like to co-host with Dean right now, so I just, I just want no Matt problem. to address no that problem. last so, point, and then I'll we can do that. I'll answer the question very, very succinctly. Okay. Are there other authors that claim that sexual immorality led to the fall? Yes. However, however, many of those authors are from a long time ago, a very long time ago, when the puritanical ideas about sex were at their heights. Modern historians will not claim that. They will claim that there was a degradation in society, meaning that morals were failing, but sexual immorality was not necessarily the primary driver. There were many drivers of the fall, uh, not including the fact that uh, the Roman Empire became so huge that they couldn't manage their own borders and they were becoming so um, 
so uh, separated that they didn't have a, uh, a uh, cohesive unity to them. That is one of the primary reasons for the fall of the Western Empire, not, for example, why, why the uh, uh, Roman Empire in the East did not fall. The Roman Empire in the East lasted uh, until the 1300s. Why? Because they were more cohesive, they were more unified, and they lasted because they, they were not uh, being constantly bombarded by the uh, barbarians of the time. And so that's what happened. Okay, well, like I said, thank you very much for allowing me to um, contribute. Okay, you, for sure, bro. Thank you all so much. You Appreciate you life. both. Appreciate you both. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get to them off everyone right now. But hopefully everyone's everyone's having a good day right now. Me and Dean are gonna be running a co-host right now. Uh, I, I'm not quite sure if we were gonna do sub only chat. We're gonna ask people in the sub only chat what they think right now because it's gonna be more than 40 minutes that me and Dean are gonna be on here for debating for a little bit. So 40 minutes would be how long my sub only chat is on for this. So chat, what do y'all think? Do, would, should we keep it open and then do sub only chat later? Should we do sub only chat tomorrow, right? Or should we open it up in like 40 minutes? By the way, what is going on, everybody? Uh, it's good to be here. It's good to be with y'all here. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Dean. I do streams similar to Parker, but I'm sure that most of y'all might be familiar. But Parker, thank you so much for letting me come up here and co-host. Yeah, it's, of course, really good. Eddie, yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? Yeah, how old are you? I just turned 18 a couple months ago, August 31st. For sure. Do you think it's wrong or immoral to be gay? Uh... I think it's wrong, but I think it's wrong because it's not normal. Dean, I'll let you take this one because you just you just jumped on, bro. All right, man. So you think it's wrong because it's not normal. Could we go ahead and get a definition of normal from you? Normal is, I think, would be normal is can be perceived, right? Let's say you go 80 miles per hour, right? Couldn't you say that that could be normal for one person, but for the other, that could be considered speeding right so i what do you like i just i don't know what you mean when you like say it's like not normal like are you just talking about like some like interpersonal so like an, some notion of like uh this is like weird or like i just don't know what you mean yeah. it's like please define normal right i think are you so oh, weird okay so yeah. you think it's wrong because it's weird yes okay right so define weird um I wouldn't say it's weird, but I think it's just not natural, to be honest. Okay, so sweet. So now define natural. <laughs> like, Na on, we keep na using these natural terms. is everything in nature. Right? So would you say that, like, the fact that we observe, like, homosexuality in over 3,000 animal species in nature would, like, make this natural? Or the fact that, like, homosexuality or sexual orientations as, as a whole are, like, naturally caused due to, like, you know, varying physicalities of one's brain or genome? Like, I feel like this would make it pretty natural, right? Uh, I mean, the, the, I think uh, humans were made to have intercourse with each other, not to, you know, stick it in the hands one's ass right so no like gay individuals were quite literally made to be gay and this is what the science shows i mean like we could refer to like a whole host of institutions right so like the netherlands institute for brain research and the center of neurodoctrine studies at the university of pittsburgh massachusetts and the center for neurochronology at the ucla like all have these like really cool tests that they've done on like the brains of gay and straight people and what they found is that if you're gay you have like varying physicalities or anatomy right so like gay men have larger interior commissures they also have like different physicalities of the AI NH3 subsection of hypothalamus, or you know, just like differences within their genome, and like there's been association shown between the XQ23 chromosome. And like, if the if the science is true, if these if these studies are correct, uh, then yes, gay people would quite literally be made to be gay uh, with the development of the brain and your anatomy starting at about eight weeks gestation. So, yeah. So let's say I said the Earth is round, right? But I said, oh, can I, can I have some information to back that up? But I can just say, oh, the earth is round because I used a microscope to do that, right? Did you actually, like, for example, do you, I could prove that the earth is round because it's based off of photos. I can literally go outside and, I don't know, go up on a plane and see the curvature of the earth, right? So the, the information you're saying about the scientific research, do you actually have that information or is it just text? 
I uh, man, dude, you got me. It actually doesn't exist. Just kidding. It exists. So here's a study done, right? Like you could, you, we could, we could see the information here. We could see the authors. You know, we could see like the sexual orientation and the size of the anterior commissure in the human brain. Like I don't know, man. Like we could even just cycle through here. This is usually easier. Like or you know, like what about this one? It's like a genetic study of male sexual orientation that shows like correlations to like you know to like the XQ23 chromosome or yeah, all you know, I like, see even is this text, one though. that shows like similar. Right, but when you go and actually you read the texts. Uh, like, you know, this is what matters. Right. right. It's only so text, all though. it is. You're, it, I'm, like I said, you could say the earth is round because, oh, I use a microscope right. or, or something like that. Wait, by the way, he gave so, you he gave you the titles so you could look them up yourself and read them. OK, but I'm, right. uh, is it text or is there actual uh, images? Oh, research? Like, is there oh, Im images and research? Yeah, slices? yeah, yeah. So yeah, they go, they go. So they use EEGs, MRIs, fMRIs, and postmortem brain slices. Like, OK, what are those? That, like varying physicalities of exist, right? Yeah, so what are those? Uh, dude, I don't know what those are. Tell me. Yeah, so like brain scans, brain images, like images of depictions of like actual dead people's brains that have been shown. Yeah, what There's did they do to the brains? Go right, so they cut them in half and they looked at the AI NH3 subsection of the hypothalamus. And what is that? At variations and like dendritic. This is a subsection of the hypothalamus that has been like linked to control like one sexual orientation. Okay, can you put that in simpler terms? Because I don't, I don't know what that means. No, you can't put it in simpler terms. You asked for what it is, and I gave you like a nuanced perspective with like an adequate understanding of neuroscience on exactly what it is. But you man. can't put it into simple terms. Oh yeah, parts of the brain are different if you're gay or if you're straight. Yeah, the parts of the brain, Eddie, these things are not determined by the individual. They're not based upon choice. They indicate to us that there are different responses that exist within gay people and within straight people and which biologically speaking produce different outcomes like attraction, right? We can literally see scans of brain uh, of, of gay people's brains and, and straight people's brains that indicate that there's sexual arousal when there is men when it relates to gay men and sexual arousal when it relates to women when it relates to again straight men. Appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. So clearly this is indicated within the science, right? To be biologically determined. Sure, but how come? I can get I, I can get turned on, let's say by I can just get turned on by, you know, just thinking about it. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Thinking about what? How about getting turned on? I can just get I can just do it. You know, like I can. Just so you can just think on. about men and get turned on. No, I could just get turned on without thinking about anything. No, no, no. If you think about men, can you get turned on? Uh, if I really thought about it, but I don't. I mean, I don't, actually, I don't. you have a gay flag. You have, like, the pride flag in your bio. So, I mean, maybe you get turned on to men because you're gay, right? Um, I, I, listen, I could get turned on if I thought about men, but I don't. Wait, so what makes you think that you could? Because it's my choice to get turned on. Okay, could you choose to be attracted to your mother? Uh, you could be choose to be attracted to anything. Could you choose to be attracted to your daughter? Yes, but it's very wrong. You could choose to be attracted to children? Yes. You could choose to be attracted to chickens? Sure. You could choose to be attracted to the floor? Uh, sure. What about a dead trick and chicken mashed into the floor? What about something like gory, like gruesome? I don't know, just yeah, like something you could horrendous. could choose to be attracted to any of those. Could you choose to be attracted to a circle? Sure. Can you choose to be attracted to a color? A uh, what? Can you can you choose to be attracted to like the color red? Uh, sure. Can you just get a boner when you think of like the smell of apple pie? Sure. Can you choose to be attracted by a car? Just sure. by a nice Chevy? Sure. Okay, so here's my question now. Now do do this, right? Look at the floor and just get aroused by the floor. Right now. Right now. I don't know how you're going to see if I'm aroused. I don't know. I don't need to see, man. I don't want to see. We don't want to see. Just I be can, honest. Listen, Are I you could, aroused? I could, I, get I could get turned on and then think about the floor and say that, oh, I got aroused by the floor. No, that's not what the claim <laughs> is. No, we're asking you, can it be because of the floor, right? You look at the floor and because the floor is looking so fucking nice right now, you immediately have to just, you know, be aroused, right? Is that your view? Sure. You think that you can? Yeah. So okay, obviously, do, do, like, do it right now, right? right now. Look at the floor and get sexually aroused.
<laughs> that's that's very weird to do. I don't think I don't. So like, I don't think I want to do this that. Notion, but I'm saying I could do it. This notion is just idiotic, right? So this notion is completely idiotic. So like the idea that opinion. like I could look at a car and just like want to stick my member in the exhaust, or you know like <laughs> take a vinyl record off my wall and just want to rub one off onto it. Sure. These are these are notions that are like completely incorrect, right? Because okay, sexual orientation is something that is not based upon like conscious decision. Thank you for that and a mustache, but rather like the like the physicalities of your, of your brain, right? And when you make this like assertion that you can choose these things. Uh, like first you're just like denoting like the science in which I brought up to you the institutions the institutions that I mentioned and the backgrounds I brought up such as like the scientific studies done by the NIH to just be completely like misinformation or false right uh, and like I think like rejecting these outright without reading them and without reason is going to be extremely irrational of you to do wouldn't you agree sure yeah I, I can I can agree with that so do you think that you're acting in a rational manner by saying that you can get attracted to the floor uh, that's your opinion Jada, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You don't have that opinion? I mean, like I said before, do you think other people, you know, going, I don't know, 80 miles per hour, people may think that's irrational. Other uh -huh. people may think that's normal. Okay. Well, like, I'm, I'm confused, right? The, the, the point we're getting to here is that the idea that you can find, right, chickens attractive, cars attractive, right, these are not things that you'd actually be able to do, right, that you would actually be able to fulfill. You're just saying it. You simply are just saying it. Like, let's be totally real. You conceded to that on a live in front of 3,900 people, right? That's a wild take, let alone the notion that you couldn't even fulfill that standard. Not to mention, do you think that, like, uh, fruit flies can make choices? Do you, fruit flies, do I think they should what? Do you, can fruit flies make choices? I mean, I don't know. I don't know a lot about fruit flies. I fucking hate insects. I had a fruit fly infestation in my room. Right. So like I just I this this notion that like Wait, hold up before you do could you find those fruit flies attractive? Can I find those? <laughs> Fuck no, bro. Those shit this is disgusting. All right, well there we there. Fine, we somehow finally got the concession. So you cannot choose your sexual orientation. You cannot be aroused by fruit flies. Somehow you chose to die on the hill that you could be aroused to your mother, no, I, your I'm, sister, I'm, a I'm, child, listen, a chicken, a dead chicken, a I'm, color, a circle, a square, the floor, the sky, a car. But he couldn't concede to the we, fruit flies. Like, like, he couldn't concede on. to I'm the fruit flies. I'm choosing not Point to be. Fucking listen, man. I'm choosing not to be sexually aroused by the fruit fly. I'm choosing. Oh, that. I asked I you, could you choose? Oh, I, I thought you said, would I? No, what? dude, what? Okay. Why would I change right. the no, question? I, I, huh? Why would I change I, the question? I, mis I misheard what you said. Oh, so you can't, you, you, you can I choose. Fucking fruit flies. I just misheard what you said. So, I don't know, Eddie. Here, here, here's like my honest take, right? So we have like two positions. We have like me and Parker's position that being gay is not a choice. And we have your position that being gay is a choice. Now, what reason or rationale is, is me and Parker's position it's not a choice being backed by? Well, first of all, it's backed by the science. It's backed by the institutions I named off, such as the Netherlands Institute for Brain Research or like the, you know, the University of Pittsburgh, Massachusetts, UCLA, alongside other institutions that I could list off. I could go on this whole monologue about them, right? It's backed by the science in of itself. I showed you specific studies done on like, you know, done on the neuro, like the neuroanatomy of like gay and straight people, you know, like such as this one, right? Or like, you know, such as this mm -hmm. one, all right? Or like this one, I could just, I could continue, I could go quite literally all day. And like, what are other notions to support this idea that being gay isn't a choice? Well, it's the fact that we observe homosexuality in over 3,000 other animal species apart from humanity, right? So in like some of these animals, or all of these animals do not possess the cognitive abilities in the same sense that you or I do to make conscious decisions, right? And if we observe homosexuality within these animals and the animals can't make conscious decisions, then being gay is not a conscious decision, right? So the logical like, conclusion of this is that being gay is not a choice, right? Okay. Like, just like, look at all this. So, right? so like, what's your rationale? Yeah, like, why so do you think it is a choice? Sure. Where's your institutions? Where's so, your science? Where your, where's your scientific observation? Where are your academic studies? Where so is say like, I, one I say drop of intelligence? Being gay is a choice, right? Or, sorry, is not a choice. Okay, let's say I say it's not a choice, right? So, mm -hmm. at the same time, let's say I don't believe that, you know, just when you're gay, right, you can't, you can't make a baby with another man, right? Give me a second. Yeah, when engaging in intercourse with another man, yes, you cannot make a baby. Okay. Is infertility immoral? 
Um, I didn't, hold on. Let me think about that. Is infertility immoral, Eddie? Come on, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Is infertility immoral, Eddie? Um, Eddie, answer the question, Eddie. I'm saying being gay, right? Answer the question, Eddie. Is infertility immoral? <laughs> uh, it may be immoral for some. It may e be immoral for others. All right. Well, and I don't what know I what the fuck that? that was, but now, like, basically, your answer was that it's not going to be immoral for some. First of all, this notion that infertility is immoral is is, is extremely like absurd. I'm going to show you why. Do you believe in God? Okay. Do you believe in God? Um, I, I, okay, I, I'm Christian, but you're Christian, I right? Don't believe so, in everything in the right. religion. So you're, so you're Christian, right? So yes. you're a Christian, and you think that infertility is immoral, and immoral acts like lead you to going to hell. And every woman after the age of about fifty or fifty-five, after they go through menopause, is going to be infertile. Therefore, if a woman dies after she goes through menopause and is infertile, then she's going to go to hell under your logic. Obviously, this is not the case, and infertility is not immoral. But this is all wrapping back around to the statement that you made earlier that being gay is wrong because they cannot have children. Well, look at the graph, Eddie. What we see is that being gay leads directly to no reproduction in the same sense that infertility leads directly to no reproduction, right? We see lines here, Eddie. And by you saying that it's immoral to be gay because they can't have kids, but not immoral to be infertile regardless of the fact that they can't have kids, you're just being logically contradictory and fallacious. Okay, so when you're, yeah, when you're Thanks, infertile, man. right, and you're, you're talking about hitting menopause as a woman, right, so you, you hit infertility menopause. Infertility can exist within women, like, regardless of menopause. That's just one example. Okay, sure. Um, what, well, the woman, right? Cause I don't like when I, when I say I'm Christian, right? Uh, I don't, I don't believe in everything in, in Christianity. When you, cause I've watched your streams before you ask, oh, prove to me that God exists, right? I can't prove to you that a God exists. I only have faith. In yeah. God. I asked that question. <laughs> I only have faith in God. I can't prove to you right. that God exists. Eddie, how does your faith in God like show that this isn't contradictory? The faith in God doesn't matter right now. You said that sure. infer like you said that being gay is wrong because they can't have kids, right? Sure. Is infertility wrong? Like I said, it's wrong for some. Yes or no? And not right. Name a case of infertility. Name, name a case of infertility where it's wrong. Uh, when you're when you're born as infertile, you, there's something yeah. wrong with your like. There's something yeah, is, it, wrong is it immoral? Is it immoral? Good, good, good. Uh, yes, there's something wrong with, fucked up with your body. Okay, so Eddie, so I think what you mean in this scenario is that there's something unfortunate that has occurred. Because when you're saying that there's something wrong, right, you're tying something to like a responsibility for some sort of action. Lisa, I appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much. If there's no action, right, that they've volitionally engaged in to have this attribute, how could it be considered immoral? Because they're, it's just they're fucked up in the body. I don't know. Which is unfortunate, but immoral, wouldn't that relate to a notion of responsibility? Um, hey, Crystal, by the way, thank you for the, thank you for the Venmo. I appreciate like, it. And also, a kid's born with Down syndrome, right? Is, be, is having Down syndrome immoral? Is everyone and with Caitlin Down as well, I appreciate it as well. Uh, yes, it is immoral. My, my, so every, everyone my, with Down syndrome is going to hell? Yes. That shit, I think there's something wrong, with, fucked up with the brain. Is that okay? Is that, is everyone with like autism going to hell? Uh, yes. Is everyone with depression with going to hell? Antagonist, I appreciate this. Uh, I don't know. Do you think people are born with depression? Yeah. Because I think depression could be. Sure. Uh, someone's born with depression. Are they going to hell? Environment, right? Somebody. Someone, someone's born, born like with depression. Are household. they going to hell? No, no. Is, if, if someone is born with depression, are they going to hell? Yes or no? Uh, there, I don't think people are always born with. Okay, so dude, okay, you're so, not answering my question. No. We'll move on to another one. This individual is born with a malformed hand. Are they going to hell? What did you say? I didn't hear what you said. An individual is born with a malformed hand. Are they going to hell? Hold on, say again. An individual is born with a malformed hand. Are they going to hell? Uh, sure. Yes. And, okay, an individual is born with a severe learning disability, right? Yes. Are they going to hell? They're not normal. Okay, so Eddie, you're literally saying that someone deserves to go etern to eternal conscious torment because of a characteristic that was ultimately speaking determined by your God. So your God created them with these ailments and then just decides to send them into hell because of these ailments that the God gave them. Is that not an immoral action? I mean, like I said before, like, I don't 100% believe in my religion, right? Like, 
in a way. Like sometimes I believe, you know, like. Um, well, you believe that they're going to hell, so therefore I mean, this I would never, constitute listen, the percentage like, of which I, you believe I sometimes, in your religion. Like, part of me, like it's it's split in half, right? Part of me thinks that once you die, the, everything's shut off. There's nothing more. It's just eternity, or actually, there's just no eternity. There's nothing. The other part does believe that you know. Hopefully, I go to heaven, and I get to meet my relatives, and I get to interact with you know. Hopefully, I'm I'm Wait, in I, heaven, right? I, I have a question. How between, tall are you? Huh? How tall are How tall are you? Five foot eight. Right. So the normal height for a man is five foot nine. Are you going to hell because you do not meet this normal criteria? Mm, normals could be perceived. I think. Are you saying like the average height? The normal height for a man is five foot nine. You are not the normal height. Are you going to hell? Like I said, I think the the normality of the, your height could be perceived as for being five foot nine. Are you saying five foot nine in, in America? Right. So you just said like the normality is five foot nine. You're five sure. foot eight. You do not meet the normality. Are you going to hell? Uh, like I, I, I literally just said, like, are you talking about in America? Because if you're if you're talking about America, that's the average height in America, five foot nine. This is the normal height for any man on earth. A uh, what? This is the normal height for any man on earth. For are you sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure. sure. Let's just say it is. In other countries, I, I'm, there's, there's. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm okay. Look, let's just say it is, right? Let's just say it. But it's it, not. Let's just say it is. It's not because in All other right, countries, see, like okay. in Mexico, sure. I, I can bet it's you the... the normal height is like five foot three. That was extreme. That was crazy. For. A man on yeah, I think I think it might be five foot seven here and uh, Okay, so the so the average height is five foot seven. Sweet, yeah, it looks like. Well, I'm actually anyone really anyone who's scale. five foot six, right? They they go to hell. Uh, sure. Yeah, they go to hell. So, are you going to hell because you're five foot eight? Uh, but didn't you just say the average height is five foot seven? Yeah, so you're not the average height. And then also, I see a source saying that it's five foot nine. Um, but you know, it's whatever. I mean, um, it could be five foot nine. That's just, here. Let me let me let me look up as well. But like, how are we going from like fucking Down syndrome, autistic, depression to height? Like, what the fuck is because that? These are all things that exist in an atypical nature. And you were saying if you exist in an atypical oh, I do see nature, five foot nine. Yep, yeah. I do see five foot nine well, as well. The the thing yeah. is, so so the, in the, the same way that you just said, you just said that uh, if a man is under the normal height that Parker like perceived it to be, which was five foot seven. Uh, you're going to hell because you said this five foot six man is going to hell. So it's it's five foot nine. Dean was yes. right. So five so now, foot nine. So you, you, Eddie, you're going to hell, buddy. I'm going, I'm going to, hell. to hell, Eddie. I'm going to hell. So I could believe I'm going to hell. Does that mean I'm really going to hell? Gerard, I appreciate the dynamic duo. Thank you so much. Oh, exactly our point. Yeah, dynamic we don't believe duo, in hell. Yeah. Exactly our point. W W Eddie, honestly. W Eddie. Oh, thank Gerard, you. Without, thank without you one that point, that was, that was that was a very thank very you, rare Eddie W. <laughs> thank you, W Eddie. Very rare. You forgot to add that point. But can I just ask you why you have a pride flag in your bio, Eddie? Are you trolling? Say again. Are you are you trolling, Eddie? You have a pride uh, flag. I, in your bio. I believe in some of the LGBTQ stuff, but I don't believe in the gay shit. <laughs> Dude, what's your IQ, Eddie? Fuck if I know. I didn't measure it, and I probably never will. <laughs> I'm make. I'm making an intellectual what my, assessment. What does my thermostat say? Anyways, all right, Eddie, do you have any reasons? Like, I'm just, I'm lost at this point, bro. You're saying that if anyone does not meet, like, what is typical of a human in quite literally any aspect, such as, like, cognitive function or even height, they're, like, they're immoral, right? But this is, like, so obviously not the case, right? I, I like, I feel like if you have this worldview, you're honestly just, like, deluded. Like, you're delulu, Eddie. Like, you have no rational substantiation or basis for you for the claims in which you've made, and I'm willing to write you off as, like, willfully ignorant and irrational in the fact that your beliefs of the external world around you are extremely miscon are extremely misconstrued, and I really think that you should sit down, read some shit, and just educate yourself and become more of an intellect because all I'm seeing, the vibes which you are radiating, is just like pure blissful ignorance. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't want to read about uh, why be why uh, uh, like one man fucking another is a good thing. I don't want to read that shit. Yeah, why is it a bad thing? Why is it a good thing? 
So everything's going to exist in, like, an amoral state. Like, something doesn't necessarily have to be good for it to not be bad, and, like, opposite of that. Like, if we are to say that anything is good or bad, we have to have justification for it. Like, I had Wendy's for dinner last night. Could I make, like, an articulated argument as to why that was a good thing? No, that doesn't mean that it was a bad thing. So what is your justification for homosexual intercourse being a bad thing? What's your justification for homosexual intercourse being a good thing? Okay, well, I just explained to you that, like, it doesn't need to be good in order for it to, like, not be bad. So, but like the just I could provide justification like it's an expression of love that promotes happiness or pleasure, which under like you know a utilitarian construct would be like good, right? It doesn't have to be necessarily bad to make it good. Why is it bad, Eddie? Stop avoiding my question. I I think you're avoiding my question. <laughs> You, won't you know what, sure, Eddie. Get, sure, Eddie, I'll, I'll, I'll gay, answer your question. Eddie, gay, Eddie, I'll answer your question after you answer mine, right? So stop acting okay, like a child okay, and so, give me, like, so, dude, Eddie, give me articulate reason as to question, why. Will you answer, will you answer my question on being, why sure. being gay is good? Sure, sure, okay. sure, Eddie, sure. So my answer to your question on why being gay is bad is because it's not natural. Now, will you answer mine? Define natural. I answered your question. Yeah, we're talking about Now, will about you answer, answer mine? Uh, sure. The reason why it's good is because it is natural. <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. Like, if na if naturality is, like, uh, you know, like, the concept or the identifier for, like, moral goodness or badness, then sure. Like, we could just assert it as being natural, therefore it's good, right? So you're saying being gay is good because it's natural? Well, you said it's wrong because it's unnatural, so... Yeah, he just used yeah, the same reasoning as you, Eddie. Right, but like uh, both me and Dean, right, outside the context of using your own view against you, are going to say that being gay and being straight, they're not necessarily considered right or wrong. There's no claim that you should be gay or you should be straight. And there's no claim that you shouldn't be gay and that you shouldn't be straight. It simply just is. The same way that if I go up and pick up a rock from the ground, right, it's not going to be considered right or wrong. It's not going to be considered moral or immoral. It just simply is something that happened. Very true. But I was still able to just give myself the handicap of accepting that I have to prove it to be good. And I still did. So, hey, that's cool, right, man? But then, you know, Parker told you then it's not, it's not right or wrong. No, no, Eddie, his point against you was totally valid. Because he used the exact same justification that you used. And you literally did not accept his justification when it was the same justification as yours. So if anything, yeah. right, it's it does demonstrate the point it's, better, it's a, right? I was just telling you what my position was. His point literally showed the error in your argument. No, it's just a right. contradiction. It, it's, yeah. it's not. A, do you want to know? Yeah, what the it shows you contradicted is? yourself. Yeah, that doesn't, exactly. that doesn't mean it's a. Do you want to know what another? Do you want to know what another contradiction is, Eddie? So you're saying that being gay isn't natural, and then the definition of natural from Oxford languages, I just looked it up on my computer, is existing in or caused by nature. So let's touch on both of these points: existing in nature and caused by nature. Well, existing in nature, this is obvious. We see it in Homo sapiens sapiens, and we see it in other, and over like three thousand other animal species, right? Then the caused by nature part. This would just go back to like you know like the education that I so kindly gave you earlier about like the physicalities of our anatomy and how they correlate to our sexual orientation by like these institutions of science medicine psychology sociology and neurobiology right so like even if we are to accept that like naturality is so he didn't even get banana he just left <sighs> I, don't, I don't i don't i don't i don't think he wanted to continue with that all right well all by right. the way everyone uh, if you like this type of content, tap that screen. Let's try to get to 4.1 million likes, everyone. 100,000 more than what Dean got. Everyone, share the live. Let's try to get to 3K <laughs> shares. <laughs> Let's try to get to the 3K shares, everyone. Here in about, what, what 10 minutes, we're going to be going over to, to non-sub only chat. Appreciate the mic drop. Thank you so much. And we're going to continue with this debate, everyone. If you like this type of content, keep tapping the fuck out of that screen, everyone. Let's go into the next person, though. Hell yeah, guys. Also, make sure you hit the follow button. If this button at the top of your screen under Parker's account is red, make sure you hit that shit, make it go white, follow him for the content. Also, consider hitting the follow button on my account Same as thing well. with Dean, everyone. Thank you for the little crown. I appreciate it. Yo, what's up, Harry? How old are you? I'm 23. You're 23? Yeah. yeah. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Uh, for me, it's wrong. Why so? Because I'm just... That's not funny, but um, actually, what's what I'm going to say... For me, it does not make sense. Why well, does it make sense? Because the only I know is like female and man. That's only what I know. Do you mind okay. if I ask a question? Yeah, hey, go ahead. So, so it's immoral because well, it doesn't make sense? I have I, a question, Harry, just let one. Me, then I'll, then like, I'll, I'll let you get back to it. I just have one question. Yeah, let me, does let me Calculus 3 make sense to you? Can I ask you one question? Are you being part you, of After.
Right. So does calculus three make sense to you? I mean, I'm just saying, are you part of being gay? No, we're both straight. Does, does calculus three make sense to you? That is nothing about gays. <laughs> just answer my question. That does not make sense to me anything about Okay, gay. fine, whatever. Parker, go ahead. Cool, man. Yeah, what were you saying, Harry? I'm just saying about gay, anything does not make sense to me. That does not make sense. Okay, yeah, again, if your point, Dean's critique is 100% valid, mm. right? Do you understand econometrics? I don't need to be understand about this. You don't understand econ Does that mean it's wrong? That's, that's a wrong at all. Econometrics is wrong? Now it, it it why are you why are you even compare it? Why is that it's not it's not, it's not it's, I don't even understand why are you even No, you just said you just said being gay doesn't make sense, therefore it's wrong, right? I brought up this, right? Econometrics doesn't make sense to you, therefore it's wrong. Also I could ask you the question, quantum mechanics, right? Quantum mechanics or quantum physics or anything we want to relate to. No, you, is it no. wrong because it doesn't make sense to you? Yeah, because also you don't understand this analogy. Well, say, is this analogy think, immoral? Wait, I don't Well, let me ask you, you say it, you say it first of all, yeah. You know, you know, are you, I'm just want to ask you, you haven't answered my question. Are you proud of being gay? Are you gay? Neither, neither of us are gay, and he did answer that. So, so that's me. Are you proud of being gay? Um, well, I'm not gay, and he's not gay, so we can't be proud to be something that we're not. So why are you guys asking these questions, first of all, if you're not gay or... Like... Yeah, because we we're against the hatred and discrimination that's targeted towards people on the basis of the fact that they are gay. Right? We don't right. think that that should happen. We think it's unjustified prejudice. Yeah, so societal prejudices, and which are unjustified, are going to be extremely bad, and I feel like anyone can speak out against them. Like, you know, I think that misogyny is bad. Do I have to be a woman to speak out against it? No. I think racism is bad. Do I have to be like, nah, no, nah, I'm not to speak out against it? No. Yeah, I get your question, but I'm not going to be racist. Anybody can be wherever he is. But I'm just saying, in my European, does not make sense to me about gay. Uh, uh, is that what makes it immoral? What? So, being gay doesn't make sense to you. No. Is this why being gay is immoral? Yeah, that's why I'm being a say immoral. Okay, sweet. So now, Harry, please answer my question. Just please answer my question. Does calculus three make sense to you? I'm already answered for you. Doesn't doesn't. You said no. You said no. no. It does not make sense to you. So yeah. therefore, is calculus three immoral? That's not common for me at all. Yeah. So is calculus three immoral? Hello? Guys. Can I hear it? Carrie, is Calculus 3 immoral? Yo, use your voice, right? So turn your turn your thi turn your brain on. Turn your brain on. Is Calculus 3 immoral? Hello, I can't hear you, man. Oh my god, dude. Right, so you said that being gay is immoral because it doesn't make sense to you. Right, so replace being gay with calculus three. Is calculus three immoral? I can't hear your voice, man. You can't hear him. I can't hear you. That's right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we're gonna go on to the next person. Everyone, only send a guest request if you disagree, and uh, IQ is above above the um, temperature of the room. So um, tap that screen, everyone. What's, Yo, what's going up? on, how Jason? Old you? I'm Justin, 40. how old are you? You're 40? Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Well, I just wanted to say something because you guys always refer to science yeah. as your information, right? But science has been proven wrong so many times. So then by what? A whole bunch of things. What was it proven wrong by? Proven. Science! Science! Okay. Uh, you're <laughs> muted, bro. You're paused. Hello. Hello. Justin, again, what 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 proved science wrong? Science. 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 Scientists are humans. They make errors, right? So you can't go off science and say that's a hundred percent right because you can't. Nobody can prove it. It's another person doing a test. Thank you for the description. I appreciate it. Thank you. It Yo, could Justin, be wrong. You're misunderstanding the, the scientific method. The scientific method, thank you for the hand, I appreciate it, isn't saying something is 100% true. It's saying this is the most likely determinant, right? This is most likely to be the case. This is the best possible explanation. Right, but it's not 100% true. Nothing right? is 100% except for like something like logic, where it's, in which is a necessary fact. 
Correct. That's all I was getting at. Okay, but like I, I mean, I we already we already hold that, but yeah. So why is being gay wrong? I didn't say being gay was wrong. My uncle's gay. My sister's gay. All right, let's go on to the next person. Everyone, only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates, everyone. Just looking for some debates. Tap that screen, everyone. Let's get to 4.1 million likes. <laughs> What's going on, Stuart? What's going on, man? Do you think that being gay is going to be wrong or moral? Uh, being gay is a person's life choice. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing immoral about it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, you love what all right, we're just looking for people who disagree. Only send a guest request if you disagree, everyone. Again, just looking for some debates, y'all. Just looking for some debates. We're going to go on to the next person. Also, Seb Only Chat is going to be coming off here real soon. Uh, it looks like we have just a little bit longer on the Seb Only Chat, y'all. So if you're enjoying the streams, make sure we're tippity-tapping away on that phone screen. We're, we're basically done, basically done. Oh, I did Hello? not mean to do this. Oops. Yeah, what's up? How old are you? I'm 20. I, I mean, well, actually, I didn't mean to add this other person. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Yes, I do think it's being uh, wrong or immoral for many Why? reasons. Um, just because we're meant to be, I don't know, like we're made to be boy and girl and produce yeah. children. Can't really produce with two guys or two Yeah, females. is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who is infertile? Um, no, not at all. But um, right, but that doesn't lead to reproduction, right? If I engage in intercourse with uh, with a woman who doesn't have uh, fertility, right? There's no reproduction that results from that. The same way when gay people engage in intercourse, that doesn't result in reproduction either, right? So why is one wrong and the other is not? Um, uh, you got me there. <laughs> Fuck. Um, the graph gets all, brother. The graph gets all. I see you, Dean. I love your arguments too. Um. I just think because a girl being infertile has nothing to do with being gay. Cause... It does, right? Because you said that being gay is wrong because it doesn't lead to reproduction. This particular intercourse doesn't lead to reproduction. Therefore, it would be considered wrong, right? Yeah, but being infertile is kind of like a condition that you have. and um... right. Yeah, but I'm talking about me engaging in intercourse, right? Yeah. I chose to engage in intercourse with a woman that's infertile. I'm fertile. I could have been with someone else who's fertile, but I decided to engage in intercourse with someone who is infertile. Right? What, no. what, is, what is the reason why one is wrong and not the other? Not to mention that these are both going to be conditions of the human experience. Um, fuck yeah. I didn't expect this question. Um, Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just kind of something a woman deals with. And if you have same sex intercourse, you know, that's going to be a thing rather than having sex with someone and them being infertile. Right. So I don't know if you heard Parker. I don't know if you're thinking brains on. So he says he knows his girlfriend's infertile. If he sleeps with him, is that immoral? absolutely not because right so then what's so like in the building. same way that they know that they're gay and they know that like so in the same way that these two gay men know they're they're gay and if they engage in homosexual intercourse this is not going to lead to reproduction if parker engages in homosexual intercourse um by the way guys um welcome back to chat sub only chat is off welcome back everyone uh but anyways here so you said like you know like if parker engages in home and then intercourse with his infertile girlfriend uh they both know that this is not going to lead to any reproduction therefore it should be deemed immoral under the same sense but you say it is not immoral therefore this is a logical contradiction thank you for that crown yeah no um yeah i guess you win yeah all right for sure have a good day ryan yeah. Peace out, buddy. All right, let's go to the next person. Only send a guest request. If you disagree, everyone, the chat is open. Everyone, tap the fuck out of the screen. 4.1 million likes. If you want to have access to debate us, send a guest request. Right now, we got 67 requests. We're going to try to get to as many people as we possibly can. You already know the deal. Let's go on to the next person, though. Again, only send a guest request if you disagree. Follow both of us if you have not already, everyone. Yeah, make sure we're tapping away on that phone screen to 3.9 million likes, guys. 3.9 million likes. Uh, what's going on, Jeffro? Do you think that being gay is going to be wrong or moral? Oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> Yo, Jeffro, you got a lot of background noise. Is there a way you can fix that real quick, man? I accidentally hit the wrong button. My bad, buddy. <laughs> You're good, bro. Appreciate it. 
Have a good day, bro. Thank you so much, man. We're going to go on to the next person. Again, only send a guest request. If you do disagree, y'all, have you talked to Jamal for Jesus? Oh, gosh. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. Hello, 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 Jamal. How are we doing? Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Obviously, yes. So obviously, you? yes. Yes, it is obviously immoral. It's wrong. Um, I wouldn't say, like, just being gay in of itself is wrong or immoral, but, like, I'm talking about, like, having gay relations. And I believe it's wrong and immoral because um, what you're engaging in is perversion. I think all sexual perversions are immoral and wrong. So to all the people out there who are listening, do not engage in sexual perversions. It is wrong, immoral. It's Can wicked. you define sexual perversion? Yeah, it's using your body parts in a sexual manner that goes against its intended function, purpose, and design. Right. So what's the intended function, purpose, and design of like these body parts? Like, for instance, on like the male genitalia, like the primary functions of it is like urination and to be inserted into a, a human female's uh, vagina. How do you know this to be the case? Um, I could use like just basic deduction and inference. Okay, such as? Yeah, so I know that the male member was designed for the um, female genitalia because um ejaculation sperm cells um is expelled from it and um and it can lead to reproduction but i'm not saying my, my argument is not grounded on um reproduction i'm just saying using using these facts i can infer that hmm yeah the human body was designed for the female human body Right. So that so using that argument, like using this reasoning, line of reasoning, I can like conclude that like having like um, relations with like an animal. Is How wrong. do you feel about this, Parker? What'd you say? Sorry. <laughs> What'd you say, Dean? How do you feel about this? I mean, so basically what Jamal over here is saying is that, you know, he knows that the, the male member was designed to be inserted in the female member and anything that digresses. from. Oh, oh yeah. No, we, I've, I've gone over Jamal this a million times, right? His arguments are, are absolute dog water, right? Because um, they rely upon a God existing that he has absolutely no justification for. And he admits yeah. that it's just based upon faith, which is essentially the same as me saying that, you know, I can create the universe through um, like my Omnitrix, right? Um, and I have faith in that, yeah. Yeah, um, that the universe was created through an Omnitrix. Prescriptive function or design is going to be completely dependent upon like a creator that did like, you know, that intuited that or like assigned that function or design. Right. And mm -hmm. like the only way for that creator to exist would be God. Right. And you're not going to be able to like justify or prove the existence of the God. Therefore you have a just well, or an just, unjustified well, position. I mean, if you're going to deny the existence of God and that's on you, um, but well, no, it's on you to justify I'm it. Right? Reason, I'm being, but I'm giving the reasons you, the reasons, yeah, but why. it's on, it's on you to justify it, Jamal. Right. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm just giving you the reasons why I believe that having gay relations is immoral and wrong and, you know, perverted. Right, but this reason, like, presupposes the existence of your God. I, I don't like presuppositions. We must justify our positions. But right? so I, I don't, justify I don't the presupposition. Need, sure, but I don't even think I need to, like, um, rely on God to know that this is wrong, right? I could just use basic intuition. Right, so my basic intuition tells me something different. Intuitions don't grant any grounding uh, for like a truth claim or like a truth factor. They only like cognitively like agree or disagree with our like presupposed beliefs. So like institutions don't hold any truth. Uh, intuitions don't like hold any truth to them. Well, I think like all like pretty much like all moral claims, like when you really like dig deep, it's, it's gonna all gonna stem from like intuition. But um. Yeah. Yeah. So let me, let me ask you some questions. Dude. I'm just curious, just to pick your brain a little here. So like, do you believe like having like um, relations with an animal is wrong or immoral? Yeah. So this is going to be wrong and immoral. This is immoral. Why? Yeah, because animals can't, con uh, they can't, they can't express like consent. And when you engage in like sexual relations where like consent cannot be expressed, they're going to be wrong. Okay. So what if like the animal is the one that's doing like engaging in the, in the relationship? Right. Well, I right. So it still can't express consent, right? In the same way that, like, if a twelve-year-old girl was like hitting on or trying to sleep with a fifty-year-old man, uh, like, and the fifty-year-old man did sleep with him, this oh. is still going to be immoral because okay, that twelve-year-old sure. girl cannot express consent. So, do you think like doing like anything to animals is without like anything at all with animals, right? Since they can't consent, do you think that's immoral or wrong? 
Yeah. So like generally speaking, like, yeah, so I am going to be like ethically vegan and I'm definitely going to hold this position on like express consent when we're talking about, uh, you know, sexual activities or intercourse to hold to be the case where they cannot express that consent. Sure. So you think like horseback yeah. riding is like immoral and wrong because they don't consent. Yeah, so in the same way that, like, is it, like, a moral or wrong for, like, a 12-year-old to go to school because they can't, ex like, because they're not consenting? Well, they do consent, right? And, like, in the same instance, like, when we're specifically talking about, uh, like, sexual relations when it comes to, like, bestiality, like, they specifically cannot express consent for those actions, right? And when we're talking about things such as, like, horseback riding, what we're specifically, like, inferencing is that, you know, like, this is not generally going to be something that could, like, harm or deduce any type of pain or suffering oh, to the that, animal. Okay. And, like, if, like, pain or suffering can be experienced by the animal, then it is going to be wrong, right? Okay, so now, like, you're shifting your, your reasoning why it's wrong. Not at all. Yeah, so now, now you're going to pain and suffering, right? So, like, if, a, if an animal, like, has relations with, like, I don't know, like, like a woman, right? And the animal's not, like, suffering and it's, it's not, like, expressing, like, any kind of pain, right? Do you think still it's immoral to, for that animal to having that type of a relation with a the, with the woman? Because generally they can express, like, consent for this action. And I would say that, like, suffering or pain would be caused by this. I think it would be necessary, right? Well, I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, thank you for the gift. Um, can you can you express that in, in in a different way? Yeah, how so? So essentially, what you're saying is that the animal is expressing pain or suffering when I, I don't can you, can you repeat what you just said? Well, he, he's referring to non-consent, right, Jamal? Right? Yeah. Uh, we've we've gone over this a million times, right? Honestly, yeah, I think so I think I think this conversation <laughs> might have already been exasperated. Yeah. I think we've gone through this already. Yeah. So my well, my point is like you're you can't you're not you're not like really giving me like a real like valid reason why it's immoral other than that oh they can't consent they can't consent that's a valid is that not a valid no, fucking no. reason I, I don't I mean if if you're gonna go with that then you must believe that eating animals is is immoral which you already expressed but also like horseback riding right um that that would be immoral because horses don't consent to being horse. Uh, being written on right yeah so the distinction between the actions would be that one would lead to the negative impacts in terms of an individual whereas the other one wouldn't right um when it relates to like the deaths of the individuals yeah we, we would probably be against that so well wait um, wait so the individuals have, have been like 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 what if it's like a smaller animal right like how can that like lead to the death of like an individual appreciate the travel with you thank you so much i appreciate it what do you mean huh like say like I don't know like like a dog has a relation with a woman. Um, how would that lead to the death of the woman? How can that be lead to the death of the woman? Wait, did I make that claim? Said, I don't think I made that claim. It's misconstruing your your the use of uh, the word individual, right? Okay, so I, I thought you referring to the word individual. To what yeah, we're talking mean. about like animals. Jamal, I, um, can can you clarify, man? Yeah, I thought you meant like individual in, in reference to like a human being. Um, yeah, I, I think I was referencing the, like the, like the animal. Frodo, thank you so much. For the I was, re I was so, referencing so, the impact on the animal. So if an animal is not like harmed or it doesn't like, it doesn't lead to its death, right? Um, would you still say it's immoral? Graping them? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. If the animal, if the animal is the one that, um. Horseback like, riding, mean, horseback riding doesn't, doesn't like negatively impact them. Yeah. And it's still okay, great, right? So, so, okay. So, like, okay. So like how, how does... Wait, how how does it like negatively impact a dog doing it to like like a, a like a woman? Uh, you, you do you, do you not see the negative impacts from grape, right? I mean, we clearly no, can no, see no, that, no, there are, no. that there are no, more no, negative no, impacts no, from the male dog is doing it to like a woman. <laughs> you're yeah, getting, and, you're not, and you're clearly getting, speaking, clearly speaking, even in that circumstance, it would still lead to psychological impacts in which we would see to be negative. The same way that if there was a younger male, right, that was not of the age of consent. Right, that engages it with a with a woman that is older, right? Even though he was the one necessarily engaging in it, right? While they were laying there or something, right? That doesn't mean that it's not wrong, or that it doesn't have a psychological impact. No, you, you're making these claims, but you you haven't like really substantiated anything. Do they have like any like, like I, I don't see like how you, you want evidence that grape leads to negative impacts? No, not not, not grape. Like a, like a dog having relations with the women. Like you made that claim, no, but no, 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 no. Just the scenario I brought up with the with the with the young male engaging in intercourse with the with the older woman, 
right? Is, is it the case in that scenario, Kristen, I appreciate the subscription. Thank you so much that there are harmful negatives like uh, impacts yeah, yeah. in terms of but, but that's not uh, the, the, the male, yeah, that's even though they're engaging. Sure, I, I, I agree. Oh, but okay, so, so like not, would the same not, point that also apply to the animal. But that's not the scenario I brought up, right? I, I didn't, I didn't. I mean, it is, it is, it is literally comparable. No, it's not. No, it's not. It literally but, is, right? Because we're talking about the rational capacity to consent to this type of altercation. Okay, the same okay. sort of way that I can, my, my kid can consent to a chocolate candy bar, right? But they can't meaningfully consent to engaging in intercourse with an adult. You understand the distinction between those two actions? No, no. It's not comparable, bro. I'm talking about a dog, like a dog doing it with a woman, right? And um, I, I think that's a perversion. I think that's immoral. I think that's sin. But your reasoning, you guys are, you guys haven't given me like a valid reason, like a consistent reason. Jamal, right? I just gave you a reason and you didn't it's engage with it at all. No, no, you, you made the claim that it will harm the dog. Like it will, like psychologically. Yeah, and I gave you, I gave you an analogy to demonstrate that and you didn't engage with it at all. Yeah, I, 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 I reject that. Unless you look, can show me like some. So do you have a reason to reject it or are you just rejecting no, no, it? No, you're, you're claim that it will harm the dog, like psychologically, right? I appreciate that massage. Thank you so much. Did you hear my my analogy? Let's move on from there, okay? My my point. <laughs> no, I, I think it's kind of like grossing people out, but whatever. I just want to like. But my point yeah, is, it is, it is. No, oh, it, 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 is. Is, it is gross. Yes, just has like two men like kissing. That's gross to a lot of people, right? But whatever. Um, my point is that it's it goes to, against it the design. It goes against the design of your body, and that makes it wrong. It's a sexual perversion. All sexual perversions are wrong. It's evil. It's that relates to God, Jamal. That just relates to God. You're presupposing your God there, man. That's like literally the whole point. And we've, we've had this conversation a million times, Jamal. I've given you arguments. I've given you contradictions. And, and you them. haven't even looked at them, right? I gave you the perfection argument. You didn't look at it at all, right? You have no no interaction with that. I've given you the problem of evil. No interaction with that. I've given you simplicity arguments. No interaction with that. Jamal, I've given you like almost every single argument and you still don't even engage with them. Yeah, not to mention that like this notion that it goes against the design can be rejected, but even in it, like in accepting it, right? Like I'll, I'll just show you like how this would not lead to an act being necessarily immoral. What's like the evolutionary design of the hands? The evolutionary design of the hand. Evolution designs? That's interesting. Um, I would like, I would like, like infer like if something's designed, it must have like a designer, but um, well, the hands... I mean, okay, the, well, then that just goes back to the God that, yeah. So now, like, if you say it can't be designed without a designer, your argument is completely contingent upon your God that you can't prove, right? Yeah. So, like, I mean, the hands, you, you could do a lot with your hands, like, you mm -hmm. know. So if you could do something with it, that means it's designed to be in that way. Well, obviously, this designer <laughs> um, wanted, he allowed the hand to be very... Um, I guess in a design in a way that so you can manipulate it to manipulate objects probably. And so I don't know. Say, like, can we say that like the male anus was like designed in a fashion uh, where it could be like manipulated to have like the insertion of a male member into it. Like, you know, we could reference no, things such as no, like the G spot being within the anus or the fact uh, that it's like occurring, like acts of like, you know, feelings of pleasure no, or like other, no. like, you know, similar, like tangible, like observations. Oh, right. Oh, I mean, no, no, no. So you just said like, you just said like, we no, observe like very, no, like many no. like functions about, don't interrupt me. Right. So you just said like, we observe like very, like many, like functions, purposes and uses of the hands. Uh, so then th this must infer mm -hmm. something is possible to do with the hands that this is what they were designed to do. Like, this is exactly what you just said in the same way that like yeah. we could observe like, you know, possible functions of like, you know, the anus or the male member uh, to, you know, like cause, uh, you know, mm -hmm. acts of pleasure, right? Uh, and and one of them, like, like, you know, yeah. scientifically backed by the G spot being within the anus. So there's like multiple angles that we could attack this from. So like generally okay. when like we assign like a, like a design or a function or a purpose to parts of our body from like an evolutionary perspective, we're talking about like what is like, uh, like evolutionarily like required um, for like a species to species to continue, right? So if like, you want to argue from this perspective that it's wrong because you know like this is where like the male member and the female member would like come to like procreate, and this is like the evolutionary um, like design, therefore it's wrong. Well, I don't think digressing from this is going to be immoral. That like the biological purpose of hands is to grasp, right? But like is playing instrument is and this would like and then playing musical instruments would digress from this biological design. But playing is playing musical instruments immoral. No, it's not immoral. Right. So then there were digression from uh, evolutionary yeah, design. The well diving, I appreciate. Thank you. Yeah. So you can use your hands to do good or you could do your hands to commit evil. Right. But as for, as for the, the, the mm -hmm. anus, it's not, it wasn't created to like have any like external objects. Um, the hand arts. 
it's not it's not it wasn't designed to like receive like yeah, any kind of prove that your god exists no, no yeah i'll prove that your god exists prove that my god exists i i can't prove that god exists but i can't give justify you justify that he exists bro i didn't even like reference god in, with my argument you guys did sure you did no no, no uh, you referenced god you like so god. totally within your argument no no, no no you totally even... referenced god in your argument you oh, said here, things what? cannot have a design no listen you said things cannot have a design without a creator aka a god and your argument was that the, these parts of the body were not designed to oh, operate sure. yes yeah, i believe therefore yeah. the god did not like intend for this to be the case well if you can't prove or justify that the god even exists then your position is extremely irrational so i did not even like bring up god you did you just um assumed that this designer is god and that's fine i mean i i you told us you know you I, told us that it was god you I, I, told I, us that it was god. I, I, no, no no jamal you told us no. that the designer was god because you said it couldn't be designed without a god that's what i believe but and i didn't so then prove god. that the god exists well, but i didn't you for the superpower. I'm, I'm using secular arguments here right so i'm just using my reason right to infer that um using your using certain body parts right in a way that goes against its design is sexual perversion if you're using it in a sexual way and it and it goes against its, its design it is sexual perversion that's why i can say like having relations with like well, no, jamal like you told us that like you told us that things cannot be designed without a god hold on, hold like you on, understand that right hold on that's why that's why i can say that having relations with like a blow-up doll is immoral right because that's perversion your body was not designed to have relations with a blow-up doll right that's why i can say that having relations with like mm, like like an animal is immoral because your body was not designed to have relations with a goat or what were or feet dog. designed for what were feet designed for what were feet designed yeah for? so well feet are pri the primary function of the feet is to walk right thank you for the tiktok uh, jim gonna appreciate that yeah so are cars immoral are cars immoral no they're not immoral yeah, well, like the like the cars would be enacted in such a way that would like you know stray away from this function of the feet to. So get what I'm from talking about be in another manner. But I'm talking about like in the realms of like sexuality, right? Like like if you use your body, you yeah, know. Why is it confined to these? Why is it confined to these realms, right? So this seems like an arbitrary distinction. Well, I'm talking. Well, we're talking about sexual perversions, right? So, again, if you're gonna engage in a, like in a sexual act that goes against the design of the body my reasoning is that that is immoral that's why i kind of also say like having like relations with like like a corpse right that would be immoral, right because it goes against the design um of your body and it also goes against yeah the so body. jamal th th this this argument's getting uh pretty pretty circular i think we've gone over these points a million times whether it be me or you on the live or i mean even in this point uh so is there, is there anything else you want to uh, you want to address tonight jamal um jesus loves y'all <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a good night, okay? Yeah. My yeah. one last address for you is that, like, necrophilia is not going to be wrong because it goes against design. It's going to be wrong because that dead body can't express consent. Anyways, that's all. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, wait, thank you for coming. Wait, no, that's just, like, thank you for coming. Wait, hold on. Wait, why does consent matter to a corpse? Like, yeah, it, because, like, I, like, generally speaking, when we engage in sexual action, like, we're going to have to have continued, like, consent to be expressed. But, like, dude, that's seriously, like, my last statement to you. I just okay, wanted, well, like, like, to well, address wait, that. A, a blood, a blood, wait, is it having relations with a blood doll, like, immoral? Since they can't consent? Can't so consent. a blood doll is not going to be, like, a morally relevant entity, right? No, it's... it's, like, it's I, I, like, I respect Will. I'm, I'm right? using your so line of like, The I'm bodies are going to be, like, reason. morally relevant entities. No, it... I'm using your yeah, right yeah Jamal. Mind. He can just make a distinction based upon will. Appreciate the hand art. Thank you so much. What do you mean based off of will? Yeah, like the, the the prior preferences would indicate that they wouldn't want this, and he he says we ought to respect those preferences. So I mean that that is a, that is a way that you you can get around your statement here. Because um, right. consent would apply to like um, to entities in which would have like preferences and stuff like that. Yeah, but why would that matter to like a corpse like? Because that was an entity that did have preferences. Yeah, but how would you know what the, this entity's preferences was? And do you believe it's it's an assumption, right? The same way that, like, for example, right, when I'm when we are like someone's about to die, right? If they don't have a DNR, right, I go save their life. Okay, that's the operating mm -hmm. assumption that we have. Thank you for the whale diving. I appreciate it, Carleen. Thank you so much. I appreciate the whale diving. So, I mean, you can just get around it with that particular perspective, actually. So, that's a, that's a legitimate response to that, Joel. All right. Well, I'm going to get going. Y'all take care. On, man. All right. Let's go on to the next person. Again, if you like the content, everyone, me and Dean together, tap that fucking screen. 4.1 million likes, everyone. Tap that screen. Again, we're giving away 15 Three. subs chat.
Three point nine million likes, video. everyone. Keep tapping away on that screen. Three point <laughs> nine million, million likes. likes. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Hey, if we think that being gay is wrong or moral, make sure we hop in those guest requests, baby. You already know how it goes. What's going on, Ed? And do you think it is wrong or moral to be gay? No, nah, but I think you're a bitch. Oh, he's I think mad. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, why? Why are you mad, Aiden? Why you? Because you guys pick on people. Like, shut the fuck up, y'all, some bitches. Especially. How are we Dean. picking on people? Like, Dean, you're a bitch ass. Like, shut the fuck up, Dean. <laughs> Honestly, I just hear like an emotional man in chat. Like, Dean, I don't know about you. I just hear emotional okay? man. I'm be honest. Yeah. So, like, articulate to me, like, how I'm being. Like, honestly, like, what my takeaway from this is is that you are like an emotional man with a fragile ego, yeah, and you actually do think that being gay is wrong. You the fact that you like see me. No, no, no. The fact that you see me advocating you're against fuck, like prejudice buddy. held against these individuals. You're this just pisses fuck, you off so much. This pisses you off so much to the point where you're willing to join the live and call me a bitch. But at the end of the day, like the only B I T C H that exists is you for like holding these ingrained prejudices against gay people bro that's all i gotta say uh dean or aiden i oh he, i was gonna say did he have anything that would be he above room nice. temp calculated in celsius to say um before he got off the live but let's go on to the next person only send a gas request if you disagree we're calculating in celsius now chat <laughs> we're calculating in celsius <laughs> Thank you for the yo what's up how old are you what happened Oh, this person is definitely not old enough for sure. Persephone, All right, let's go to the next the person. Galaxy. Thank you for the galaxy, Persephone. Only send a guest request if you disagree, y'all. We're just looking for some debates, everyone. Again, only send a guest request if you do disagree, everyone. All right, let's get to the next person. All right, it's not accepting this person. I don't know. Do you ever get that too where it just doesn't accept yeah. people? Yeah, while you're looking through uh, to find the next guest, chat, make sure we're tippity tapping away on that phone screen. You already know. 3.9 million likes on the way. And hey, if you're enjoying the debates, make sure you hit that follow button. If the button in the top right left corner, or sorry, if the button in the top left hand corner of your screen is red, make sure you hit that shit. Make it turn white. I really appreciate that love drop. Thank you so much. Uh, anyways, we're moving on to the next guest here, chat. If we're enjoying the debates, also consider joining Parker's Discord server. It is in his bio. Thank you so much for that. Um, so anyways here chat we are trying to find a next or we are trying to find our next guest sometimes it just takes a minute So we just got to give it a minute here. It looks like we got our next guest in here. What's going on Birdman? Do you think it's gonna be wrong or moral to be gay? Um, I think it's wrong <laughs> Okay, why why oh they just left all right, okay, we'll go to the next person Trevor All right Yo, what's up? How old are you? 21. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Yeah. Why so? Um, well, God put us on this earth to repopulate. So, and you can't repopulate with the opposite sex. Is, is it wrong for me to engage in intercourse with a woman who's infertile? No, because you're still engaging uh, with a woman. Okay, so let's so look at the graph. Let's look at the graph. Sorry, I'm about to say. You made, Let's look at the graph. So we see that being gay leads to no reproduction in the same sense that infertility leads to no reproduction. We see a direct line between these three ideas that is a triangle, and that is a logical contradiction if you say that, uh, you know, it is immoral for, like, gay individuals to exist or to engage in intercourse because it does not lead to reproduction, well, regardless of the fact that infertility also leads to no reproduction. That's all I got to say. Thank you, Sal. Well, much, well that's a birth Back effect. To you, that's Parker. a birth defect, is it not? So this is going to be like a condition of the human experience. Yeah. yeah but... Secondly, secondly, right. I gave you a particular scenario. Thank you for the little crown. I appreciate it. In which I'm fertile and I'm choosing to be with someone who's infertile rather than someone else who's fertile. So you're choosing to have sex with someone who's infertile. Yep. Well, you're still engaging uh, in the yeah, opposite the sex. So. So it's about the sex. It's not about the reproduction. The sex of the individual, well, not the reproduction. Well, well, so you see how it's particularly it, it, just the it, fact that they're gay, not the fact that there's reproduction or not. Well, it, it's not. The, well, you can't. You can't have a baby no matter what with someone that's gay. Yeah, and you can't you have, have a baby no matter what with someone who's infertile in this scenario. <laughs> yes, because that's a birth defect. N it doesn't matter, right? Again, it's my choice to engage in intercourse with this particular individual. And what do you mean by birth defect? Right, infertility isn't always in response to um, to birth defects, right, or what you would consider as birth defects. Right, not to mention that a woman can go through menopause and become like infertile very, very naturally, right? I disagree with the, mo with the notion of this being like a birth defect, right? But like a woman after she goes through menopause is going to be very naturally infertile. Uh, and let's just assume that Parker's engaging in intercourse with a 70 year old woman, right? Is this going to be immoral? No. Is it a birth defect? No. Therefore, there's going to be no like, you know, 
like you know symmetry breakers between the idea of this and homosexual intercourse well it, see the thing it was homosexual intercourse you can't have a baby no matter what and you guys, yeah. you, you guys just like you can't have a baby no matter okay, what if you engage in intercourse using, with a 70 year old woman yeah but the point you guys are using is only in small fractions of people's lives that are engaging with the opposite sex well, actually, 19% of women uh, aged 18 through 49 are infertile in the United States, not even counting people who are above the age of 49. Well, yeah. Once again, that's a small fraction of that's That's, that's just as many gay people that exist, right? Gay people make up around LGBT community, even in Gen Z, make up 20% of the population. If you look at the overall population, right, we don't have numbers that are necessarily good yet because people are, have it come out to the particular degree. Overall population is 3.5, right? But it is the case that given that, you know, the new generation is significantly more accepted in being gay, right? That's what probably more accurate in terms of the numbers of the amount of gay people in our society rather than particularly like what we see there. But that's just as much as it is for infertile. Well, I, I think it's just wrong because in the first place, I, I'm saying it again, there's whenever you have sex with a male and you are a male, you're, you're sticking it in his asshole. You are. And what's wrong with that, buddy? You're on, you're on mute, pal. Bud, you're paused. Come on, bud. Bud. Tap the screen, everyone. Three million likes, everyone. Share the fucking live. Let's get to 3K shares, everyone. You already know the deal. How's everyone doing today, though? We might have to go to the next person. This person is just... Oh, they just left without me even removing them. So let me go to the next person. Only send a guest request if you disagree. We're just looking for some debates, everyone. All right, let's go to the next person. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Oh, Oh, hey, what's up? I'm 35. For sure. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Oh, no, I lied. I'm actually 25, my bad. Uh, Well... You know, I have a beef, it's talk I have beef with uh, lesbians, like for real. Like gay, gay dudes are cool, but lesbians Jesus are cool. Christ. You see, like every time I ask them uh, if I could join, they say no, right? Don't crossover talk episode. You. This is like the CW crossover. Yo, what's up? How old are you? 21. Yeah, do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? Um, Yeah. Heck yeah, it's, why? It's, um, I'm saying yeah, why? I'm just coming from the you know religion perspective, so mm-hmm. so I'm bucking my point because whatever you're giving me from the science, science is not 100 percent correct. So yeah, where what that. what religion do you prescribe to? Uh, what do you say? What's your religion? I'm a Muslim. All right, man. And and also- and, and and the Holy Quran has uh, um which is like it has more evidence more than science itself because yeah, how do we, how do we know that like we can accept like the statements that are made within the Quran is like moral fact right not to mention that the Quran says a lot of things that I feel like most people would intuitively disagree with such as the fact that slavery is okay or you know we could cut people ha- cut people's hands off if you know they steal something or that we should like unalive un- non-believers or the fact that Muhammad mar- married a nine-year-old there's a lot of problems but that's just my personal like anecdote right at the end of the day actually like, actually she was six they consummated it when they, when she was nine bro oh, I'm not I'm, I don't I, I actually I don't care what what you what you said about prophet but i'm saying like god did not create a man to sleep with a man simple as that you, you don't care like, about the fact is, that like a 30 to 40 so year old man understand. engaged like, in intercourse you, with a nine-year-old you don't care about that appreciate the galaxy nah, thank you so much but i'm going no? i'm going by nature bro. you I'm think that's completely nature. fine because again prophets are not they, they don't they can't engage in sin under your view bro i'm just going by nature you know like i don't I don't. I don't actually. I don't care what you what you say because you guys like you can. Is engaging in intercourse with a nine year old? You just go around and just Google the stuff and then trying to like bug this. Like I just say, yeah, Ethan, is, is it wrong? Being gay is immoral and wrong. So no, no, no. Immoral. Is it wrong to engage in intercourse a thirty or forty year old man to engage in intercourse with a nine year old? Is it wrong? Come again? <laughs> is it wrong for a nine year old to engage in intercourse with a thirty to forty year old man? Yeah, it is wrong because it is wrong. Okay, so so younger, a yeah. prophet sinned, therefore Islam is false because prophets cannot sin in Islam. A prophet sinned, therefore Islam is false. Appreciate yeah, the cap. Thank you so much. I'm not... in the Quran. No, 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 no. Aisha, Aisha was was nine. Yeah, I just exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah when exactly. when they consummated yeah, marriage. But, but but I'm comparing like you know from from God perspective in the nature like God did not create you know. Uh, man, right. Ifan, here's, here's what's because being, here's you have what's male, being said, right? Male, female, female. God designed female in the image, which has like, like X X chromosome, and male was X Y. So what, is, why is it so hard to understand? 
Right. So I don't know why this is so hard for you to understand. So under like, uh, you know, Islamic, uh, you know, religion, right? Like prophets of the religion cannot sin, right? However, you know, Prophet Muhammad married Alicia when she was six and engaged in intercourse with her when she was nine. No, Alicia, we just bro. asked it's you, engaging in intercourse with a nine-year-old. Yeah, it's Aisha, it's Aisha. Aisha, sorry. Just Aisha, thank you. Bro, and Aisha. I just asked you if <laughs> engaging in intercourse with a nine-year-old is immoral or a sin. You said yes, therefore Prophet Muhammad sinned. And if Prophet Muhammad sinned, and if prophets can't engage in sin, Muhammad was not a prophet. Therefore... The entirety of the Islamic religion is false. Therefore, if it is false, and, and, when, the where is your evidence? Bear objective truth. You got evidence there. saying Islam is wrong. You got evidence to back up. It's deductive we reasoning. We don't have those, right? bro. Wait, like, did, bro, did you not follow well, me there? I, I respect you guys. I respect you guys. Crown. But what are you what are you guys doing? Is is just I think it's, it's just for cloud, bro. Like you just come over here like attacking people. You don't even <laughs> right. No, no. So follow you me. You don't here. even let people did finish, bro. was was what I Asian? Yesterday years old. it was immoral, bro. Like your life, you were attacking people. You don't let people finish. So yeah, I'm saying by like nature, as a, as you know, hold on, hold on. As a straight man, then like by nature, if you analyze, there's no there's no way you don't understand that. There's, God did not create a man to sleep with a man, bro. Why we have females then? Why we was have females Aisha, in the earth? Was, why, was Aisha nine when Prophet Muhammad consummated the marriage? Yeah, was nine, right. so what? And was that immoral? Yeah, it was immoral, but... like, Can, if you're can, prophets, to this... can prophets sin under, like, Islamic, um, uh, under Islamic religion? Yeah. So no, they can't. That's just that's a lie. What do you mean lie? So you said that the entire religion, like just right. So, so Parker, so prophets like, cannot sin under is 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 under like Islam. Uh, so is this is this true, Parker? Yeah, yeah, it's true. They cannot sin in Islam. Is this like me to send you the, it was send not, you the stuff of that? And and not oh hold on hold on in that era it was normal to marry like you know if you're like in that era I think it was normal. It was normal. That, is, right. that doesn't mean it it's right. Immoral. You considered it immoral. Because that's different, different era, bro. That's different yeah, era. Yeah, that doesn't matter. It doesn't mean it's not immoral. It's still immoral for a 40-year-old to engage in intercourse with a 9-year-old. Right? You, I don't think that the time period matters. Right. The time period doesn't change your age, and that's what's relevant. Well, change, bro. Like, can you, can you compare, like, now to 1800s? You can't compare that. Well, what we can do is the fact that a nine-year-old from 1800s is, is going to be the same age as a nine-year-old uh, from the year 2023. A nine-year-old from the 1800s is going to have the same cognitive capacities as a nine-year-old from 2023. In both instances, like the same, uh, like the same level of suffering or wrongness experienced from engaging in the act of intercourse with a nine-year-old, uh, like will like still yet occur, right? So these facts are not changed by like the society or the time, right? Uh, but then you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what, like you know what, like them will. That even in Christianity, being gay is wrong. You know that, right? Uh, do you hold the Christian God to be of existence? No, but you know, you know, he's wrong, right? right? So then, so then, therefore, the like the, what is stated you know within wrong. the Bible, even in Christianity, you know, is wrong, right? right so, like, I, I don't know. I do not think that being gay is wrong because I don't believe in the Christian God. Not to mention that it does not say that homosexuality is wrong under, like, you know, the Christian Bible, right? So, just like big, big question for you, right? So, you're not willing to accept the contradiction uh, within, like, the will of Muhammad. So now, prove to us that the Islamic God even exists in the first place, right? So, if you cannot prove or like justify the existence of the God, then the words within the Quran are not going to like have any truth factor to them because they're just going to be words written on paper by men and words written on paper by men do not object uh, do i sorry uh do not like you know um d determine objective morality right bro hold on like did like, have you ever read about religion you read the quran you read the quran like so we're like some uh, parts did you or not yeah, sure. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Some parts. Yeah. What's your point? So, so even though if I give you some some evidence about 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 the like the the Holy Quran, you 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 literally gonna just like you know argue. With give me. it. No, so we'll accept point, it. But you already believe point, that your your well, position came, is contradictory. Okay, I came. Hold on, hold on. I came. You as a I just straight man. You said you you straight. You're not gay. So I'm just saying like it's it's immoral to be gay. Right. Why? And I came. I gave you like why female why female exists on earth and why God you know had yeah. How do you, why is it immoral to be gay being, exactly? God God created us in two image, male female. That's, yeah. That's so it. prove that God exists. 
I don't have to prove it. No, that's, no, that's, you're saying that's, it's that's, really, no, 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 no. That, I, Efron, you're creator, saying bro. no, 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 no. Yeah, Efron, you know, you know no, Efron, listen, listen, Efron, listen, right? So you're saying it is immoral to be gay because God created this, right? Like, because God created this, like man and woman, to not be gay. Therefore, if God did not create man and woman to not be gay, aka God does not exist, um, then like you know, it's not going to be immoral to be gay. So you have to substantiate or prove the existence of your God. Yeah, and Ifan, this, this kind of seems to be circular at this point. Is there anything further that you'd like to add or talk about? No, no, I'm just saying, I just gave you by, you know, I'm, I'm going by nature, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to argue with science because science is not 100% correct. So by, you know, thank you. Thank you for having me, guys. Appreciate, appreciate it, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you for the hand arts. I appreciate that, girl. All right, we're going to go to the next person. Again, if you like the content, make sure to follow me if you haven't already, everyone. We're going to go to the next person, though. Again, only send a guest request if you disagree. But let me get to the next person, everyone. Let me let me let me get to the next person. All right. Um. All right. Yes, I, I am gonna. Thank you for the jellyfish. I appreciate. It. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We're gonna go to the next person. Yes, I am gonna get off. Yeah. By the way, everyone, twenty-five minutes on this, and then we're gonna be raiding Dean's live after this because I am gonna get off. I've been on for almost seven hours. Oh my um, god. So, yeah. This that will be they seven really hours can. for me. So yeah. Uh, yo, what's up? How old are you? And we're gonna go ahead and continue the topic over there as well, y'all. What's up, man? How old are you? Thank you the cap. I appreciate it. Okay, I don't know if this person is here. I don't think they are. We're going to go to the next person. Again, only send a guest request. If you disagree, everyone, just looking for some debates. Again, everyone, 23 more minutes left on the live. Everyone, tap the screen. Let's try to get to at least 3 million before we end it today, everyone. Yo, what's up? How old are you? Hello? Yeah, what's up? How old are you? 25. Do you think that being gay is wrong or immoral? I do. Why so? Okay, well, you mentioned back in religion. I'm not very religious myself, I feel like. Being gay itself is kind of wrong, just on the just of how people make it out to be. Like, I don't have anything necessarily against them, but I just feel like it's wrong. Like, you know. So what's the reason? William, thank you for the Venmo. Well, okay, you made some points last time with this guy with Muslim religion or whatever, with a nine-year-old and stuff like that. But you can't compare something from, like, way back then, like the state and age and how things oh, were back hell. then were totally different. It's not hell? comparison at all. Wait, so because uh, under your worldview, uh, this guy sleeping with a nine-year-old uh, wasn't wrong. This somehow makes being I'm not gay saying wrong. it was wrong. What? It wasn't wrong. Wait, how does this make being gay wrong exactly? No, no, no. But like, what is your viewpoints? Like, you're just making like facts. Wait, wait. It is. It is comparable. You're just saying that there is a distinction. I appreciate the hand art. Thank you so much. Right. The only distinction would be the fact that there is different roles that are placed upon right, the nine year old in that society and the nine year old in our society today. But it doesn't change the notion that they are nine years old. It doesn't change their biological development. Right. The biological development and the rational development are still the same. It's just the experience of these two individuals are different. Right. The same way the experiences of an individual 100 years ago are different from the experiences today. But that doesn't mean that a nine year old today is not comparable to a nine year old then. And no, this also it's, doesn't it's, mean yeah, that this will like show being gay is wrong. I thought we asked you why being gay then was and now. wrong. There is no comparison there. It's Can you totally describe why? But... The what? Can you describe why? Okay, well, how things were run back then, and depending on where you are, things are generally different, you know, country to country. But um, So, I have a question. You might be mine. So if a country says that sleeping with nine-year-olds is okay, and this is like a, a generally accepted practice within that society, does that make sleeping with nine-year-olds okay? No, it, it really doesn't. And I feel like it's still fucked up in the case scenario. But you're... Right, so then this will go to show that like when he did sleep with her, it wasn't okay, right? Well, obviously. That's not Right, so then it doesn't seem like we point, actually disagree it... on this. No, but you're making viewpoints that are unjust that... In the way of sense like you cannot consider now from then like now from then there's no comparison uh, so so we're going to give you the space to do it both me and dean are going to be quiet real quick right can you explain to us thank you for the little crown i appreciate it thank you so much why they're not comparable okay the stating age from like the 1600s let's say in the 20 21st century you know shit like that like how things were back then like people got married at a young age nine year being nine's kind of fucked up and wrong, I feel like, but like people got married at a young age because life expectancy was a lot less than it is now too. So there is that. And that's because of infant mortality.
Okay, so people still lived older, right? But that doesn't change just because people didn't live as long doesn't change the the development of this individual rationally or physiologically speaking, right? When it relates to um, what you just brought up, it again, them being in different roles does not justify one engaging in intercourse. If we had those same roles recreated in the society we exist to today, would you say that it's okay for a nine year or like you, you would still say we would still make the claim that again, that nine year old would not be able to engage in intercourse with an adult, right? Meaningfully in terms of a consenting. Appreciate the hand heart. Thank you so much. Thank you for the hand arts. I appreciate it. Does this person just leave? Okay. All right. We're going to go to the next person. All right. That was wild. All right. Um, by the way, everyone, we got like 19 more minutes, everyone. Tap that screen. 300,000 more likes, everyone, to get to 3 mil. Let's try to get to there, everyone. Yo, what's up, Aiden? How old are you? All right. Oh, All right. While Parker's like getting the next... Today. That's why that's well, why I'm getting off earlier. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, I, went to, I went to Horror Nights yesterday and literally... I, every single time I go to Universal, I swear I get like a cold after. It's like every time. something in the air, man. It's, it's, no, it is. Yeah. Yo, what's, what's up, up how old are you? What's going on, bud? You want to take it, Dean? Yeah, sure. What's going on, man? How old are you? 18. All right, man. What year were you born in? Pardon? What year were you born in? Oh, five. All right, sweet man. So why do you think it's going to be wrong or moral to be gay? I just... I just don't, I don't know. It just, it makes me feel uncomfortable, man. Like, I'm not going to lie with you. All right, so, so sounds good, man. So sweet. So, like, I feel like there's going to be, like, different notions or different, like, experiences or ideas that can make, like, individuals uncomfortable. But this isn't going to necessitate, like, what makes them uncomfortable as being, like, immoral or wrong. For instance, like, black people made white people really uncomfortable during the times of slavery. Was it, like, wrong or moral to be a black person? Well, I think that's kind of a stretch there, but... Not at all. Like you're quite literally just defining like prejudice, right? So when you said like when you say it makes you uncomfortable, therefore it's wrong. You're just defining prejudice. The same prejudice that you know uh, like has caused like you know some like societal oppression of like gay people uh, and like the, you know like similar prejudice uh, that you know caused a societal oppression uh, like syst like systemically about of, of of black people during the times of slavery, right? What does black people got to do with being gay? Like I'm sorry, it's, dude. It's it's like it's like lo it's a logical comparison. Like just like follow here. Like a... can you can can like can you agree that like like black people made white people uncomfortable during the times of slavery dude, and still I, yet even I, to this day? You weren't there. Okay. Well, they, they did. They did. Like black people made white people uncomfortable, uh, and this is like why racism is, exists. Like one of the reasons, right? Yeah, I guess that's kind of fair, but. I don't know. Right. Right. So like, so even though like black people made white people uncomfortable, did that mean that being black was therefore wrong or moral? I don't think, no, there's nothing wrong with being black. That's right. So like now you're saying that like gay people make you uncomfortable, therefore it's wrong or moral. Yeah. I don't you see the, I do you see the problem with the logic? My own viewpoint. Like how I grew up, like I define that if you're gay, there's something mentally ill with you or like there's gotta be something wrong up there. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and like just like run through this. I want to like completely discredit this notion. Is that okay? Well, yeah, it's okay to disagree, but I find that it's biologically normal. Like it's not. All right, sounds good, man. So you said it's a mental health, uh, mental illness. So if it's a mental illness, then why does the World Health Organization, the American Psychiatric Association, the American Medical Association, the Endocrine Society, the British Psychological Society, the Royal College of Psychiatrics, the Canadian Psychological Association, the Australian Psychological Society, the European Society for Sexual Medicine, the American Academy of Pediatrics, the American College of Physicians, the American Academy of Family Physicians, the American, Acad the American Counseling Association, the American Public Health Association, all agree that this is not a mental illness and it's like a, like a normal, uh, like a natural occurrence of like the human experience right because like the only people who deem this is not a mental illness are individuals that are not doctors and do not know anything about like hu humanity anatomy biology or otherwise right if you go to one doctor or one institution they're going to disagree with you uh to the fullest extent right yeah yeah okay no i just i just don't i don't know i just i find it a little weird and uh i guess that's my viewpoint everyone has different opinions and well how does that make it like immoral though pardon how does that make it immoral that you find it weird? It's just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just, it's, it just doesn't seem normal to me. Like, I feel like Define I'm, normal. I always be with a female and a, like a female should always be with a male. That's just Define normal. Growing up. And yeah, define normal. Normal is heterosexual, man. This isn't the definition of normal, right? Is my computer heterosexual? Uh, I don't know what kind of computer you got. 
Is my computer normal? Yeah. So, like, the definition of normal is not heterosexual. Define normal. All right. Normal is a human and a male going together and having intercourse, not a male sticking it in another male's ass. Right. So you just defined normal. You said human and a male. Um, so I'm just going to correct you. A female and a male engage in an intercourse, right? So is me sitting here on TikTok Live normal? Uh, no, not really, honestly. Okay. Is, is, is playing video games normal? I mean, yeah, I guess so. It depends. On so, the... but you define normal as a female and a male engaging in intercourse. Is playing video games a female and a male engaging in intercourse? No, but yeah, you called it normal. Therefore, this is not the definition of normal. Define normal. You want me to define the actual word for normal? Yeah, quite literally define normal. Pull out a dictionary real quick. Dun dun did it dun dun did it dun dun did it dun. Dun dun did it dun dun did it dun dun did it dun. Dun dun did it dun did it dun dun did it dun. Dun dun did it dun dun did it dun dun did it dun. Dun dun did it dun dun did it dun dun did it dun. Dun dun did it dun dun did it dun dun did it dun. Dun dun did it dun did it dun dun did it dun. Dun dun did it dun dun did it dun dun did it dun. Ah, that was beautiful. Now we gotta run the we gotta run the Jeopardy music. Yeah, what's going on, man? You got a definition for that word normal? Typical way. So I would say the average and typical way is straight. Right. So then anything that's not normal is immoral. I mean, it's not right. I wouldn't say like. I feel, so is being a man over six foot tall normal? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Yeah, so there's less men over six feet tall than there is men that are non-straight. Is that actually a fact? Yeah, 14.5% of men are over six foot tall. And then like, you know, like studies have shown that about 20% of individuals uh, identify with some other sexual orientation rather than straight. So if you're going to say that being gay is like a not normal, therefore immoral because of like, you know, it, it's atypical nature. Well, being a man over six feet tall is going to be more atypical. Therefore, it should be less normal or le like more unnormal and more immoral. But you said it was actually normal and not immoral. So this is just a logical contradiction. I guess so, man. I guess so. I just have a different point of view than you do, but I just, they kind of... No, you, like, you have, you have, dis way. you have different point of views no, that is. like contradict other point of views, right? So like, I, I haven't made a single statement about what I think. I've only been talking about what you think. You said being gay was normal and being, or sorry, you said being gay wasn't normal and being a man over six foot tall was normal. And then you define normal uh, based on, like as typical, right? So being a man over six foot tall is less typical than being a gay man. Like I, like we don't have, like we do have differing point of views, but like you haven't been arguing arguing against mine you've been arguing against your own there's not a contradiction that exists between yours and mine there's a contradiction that exists between yours and your own well it's because you're you're bringing up the most random thing that has nothing to do with it most of the time like bringing up normal like what is normal like are you serious like that's the most you, you seem to just have like told me though you defined it right i did but i'm right normal is what is the typical and typically people are straight are men typically six feet tall? Yes. No, that's a lie. The average height of a male is going to be five foot nine. Well, a typical male is five foot nine. A man that is above six foot, or you use usually... twenty percent of people are gay. Fourteen percent of like men are over six foot tall. I guess so. I guess so. Right. So then, but then, why is being a man over six foot tall normal, but not being gay? Because I just don't find it normal. All right. So then why should like, what is your justification for this? You don't actually have reasoning to believe this. Like you don't have any reasoning at all. Like, do you understand how like silly this sounds? You define normal as what's typical. So you said, oh, I don't find being gay typical, uh, but you do find being a man over six foot typical, even though there's less men over six foot than there is gay men. That's just like, that's just you being irrational. Yeah. But if it's 20%, then where's the other 80%? They're straight. Exactly. That's my point. So they're normal. Well, if there's 14% of men that are over six foot tall, where's the other, uh, like seven, uh, 80 point, 85.5%. I mean, girls can be tall too, though. Like, I just, I don't understand. Man. Just like, like
Oh, this can be gay. What? I'm so confused by this, man. Like, what I'm getting at here is like you don't really have like a logically coherent like position as to why it's wrong to be gay. We like we like so what we talked about is like the normality of it, like the typicality of it. Like, I will I will agree with you that being gay is like atypical, right? Like most people are not gay. Most people are straight. However, being a man over six foot tall is also going to be atypical. But you're not going to call being a man over six foot tall like immoral or like not normal, right? Because you quite literally disagreed with that. So like this like notion of like normality or innormality and like you know immorality or morality surrounding being gay based upon its atypical nature should like apply to other things that also exist within an atypical nature such as being a man over six foot tall but it doesn't therefore it's just fallacious and contradictive so honestly like this reason is just like like dog shit terrible i'm not gonna lie with you do you have any other reasons as to why it's gonna be wrong or moral to be gay no not really i just told you i thought it was weird and that's my perspective so if you think something's what is something else that you think is weird I, I can't even think of anything right now. Being weird. Um, Do you yeah. think nerds are weird? Foot fetish. Is it weird? Fetish? Foot fetish. Foot is fe that weird? I mean, yeah, kind of. I don't know. Yeah, and is it immoral? Uh, probably. Okay, okay. If someone um, finds attraction towards an ugly woman, right? That's not typical. No one else finds attraction towards this particular woman. Is it wrong? I would no. I never said being gay was wrong. I just said I had a different perspective on it. Oh, so you quite don't think it's wrong? Did. No, I don't. You actually quite literally. That's the first question we asked you. Quite literally. Oh really? Yeah, it is quite literally the first question. I just said it was weird, though. I never said it was wrong. Uh, you quite literally answered the question by saying yes. So, do you think it's wrong? Yes or no? I mean, yeah, I do kind of think. Well, it's see, come on. So, this is all there we go. Man, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Do you think that like a, being a nerd is weird? Like, like those guys that wear the glasses and like, like. Do you think like being a nerd is weird? I don't think it's weird, but it's just not normal. <laughs> Dude, I actually, I'm, I'm sorry. We, we actually are calculating in Celsius today. Like, I actually, I didn't, I didn't actually, like, I, I really wouldn't think that. That's actually unbelievable, dude. Man, We're literally calculating in Celsius. Wild. Since I popped up, maybe, maybe like you know, calculating. I think it's Dean. Glasses. I actually do think it's Dean. I'm not joking. <laughs> I think it might be. Who knows, man? Who knows? Monis, uh, what's your IQ? Wait, wait, did you just say try and pronounce my name? Is that what that was? Yeah, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. What's my IQ? Uh, do don't, don't. No, worry no, about no. It. We don't, we don't care about that. Can you just like uh, actually, Kelvin's my bad. Um, uh, uh, yeah. So, do you, do you like? I, I don't understand why you said that you didn't say that it's immoral, and then right after that, you literally did say that it's immoral. Like, literally, like, fi less than 15 seconds after, man. I agreed with you about the, uh, the other part, but not the first part. Hmm? I said the one part was immoral, and the other part was. What the okay. hell? Okay, appreciate you coming on, man. Thank you so much, bro. Uh, honestly, <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I, th I think that's today for everyone, honestly. I think we need to save everyone's mental health. We're going to send everyone over to Dean's Live for an even worse mental health. <laughs> all right guys well i'm gonna go ahead and go live right now we're gonna be doing the same topic uh, make sure to hit that follow button uh and i'm gonna go ahead and be going live right now uh parker you could go ahead and finish your stream out thank you so much for letting me come up man i really Dean, before you go it. i actually have one thing to say tomorrow i'm having marion williamson on my live no for way. a presidential interview yep uh I'm between no nine to ten eastern time so for for you it would be pretty sure it's seven to eight seven to seven to eight, seven to eight. yeah um, okay, I won't you want to come tomorrow. on and ask a question or two? Yeah, I won't go live tomorrow. I'll, I'll be in here. Like, I'll, oh, no, it's, it's only 30, 30 minutes to an hour. So it's not like an extremely long period of time. It's, again, six to seven your time. Or I mean, six to seven my time, I think. Six to seven my time, and it's seven to eight your time. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. All right, guys. Uh, well, I'm out. Make sure to hit that follow button. Uh, I'm pretty sure Parker's going to send you all over to my stream. I'm going to PM, everyone. Topic. PM, y'all. PM. Again, it's, again, it's PM. Appreciate it, Dean, man. Have a good day, bro. Use my PM, mind. everyone. I, I posted a video about it. It is going to be at, uh, uh, here, let me, let me, let me get the particular times up. It starts at 9 PM, uh, or actually 9 30 PM Eastern time. Uh, she just changed it 30 to 60 minutes. I'm going to have to text all the people that I messaged, uh, at 9, 9 30 Eastern time. So 6 30 Pacific time, everyone. 6 30 specific or, or Pacific time, 7 30 
uh, Central Time, everyone. I'm going to have to DM everyone. I appreciate everyone coming on today. We're going to send everyone over to Dean's Live right now. Again, everyone look up It's Dean. Spam Parker Raid. Spam Love from Parker. Everyone look up It's Dean. Spam Parker Raid. Spam, spam Love from Parker. If you already know the thing, know everything. Again, look it up right now. It's Dean. Spam Parker Raid. Spam Love from Parker. Love everyone so much. I'll see everyone later. I'll be on tomorrow. Again, presidential interview tomorrow, everyone. Love y'all so much, everyone. Peace out, y'all.